Hello. Good morning. Good afternoon. Hope everyone's doing well today. So, this weekend was a debacle, and I would like to humbly apologize to my chatters, my lurkers. I'm sorry for spamming your notifs on Saturday, but I am here today. Welcome in Luigi, Babron, Mac, and Potato on the Just Starting Suit screen. I appreciate you guys. So, to catch up on the lore, what happened was we played Animal Crossing on Thursday. Someone was supposed to move on Friday, that way we could do Aurora hunting on Saturday. But since they didn't play Animal Crossing on Friday, it didn't trigger the cutscene. So, that means we could have gone Aurora hunting yesterday. And also, I was live for like 30 minutes on Saturday because I logged in, got mad, and then my dad was chopping wood, and then my parents were mad because they're maxed out streaming because they- okay. I won't share everything, but my parents are kind of crazy, okay? They're kind of wacky. So, my mom, literally right before we started stream on Saturday, she's like, Hey, I'm gonna need your help for like five hours making this super elaborate food. And it's like, bruh. Usually for big projects like that, she will tell us like a day or two in advance. But she's like, hey, I need you right now. I was like, well, I'm literally on my just starting soon screen. I can't really end. So she was mad. So then when I ended stream after 30 minutes, she was like really pissy. And that's fine. That's fine. So like, I had to do homework anyway. And then I painted. And then yesterday, that was when we could have gone Aurora hunting. But, again, I had to finish homework because I didn't do all my homework on Saturday. And then my mom was like, hey, I need your help again actually today. And I'm like, okay. Okay. Hi, Coco. Well, welcome in, hun. So... That's why we didn't go hunting yesterday. So I was crossing my fingers. I was praying. I was up all night. Crossing. I just hear excuses. Shut up. Shut up. Okay. Shut up. I I felt so fucking bad. Okay. I felt bad. That I had to end. But then it's like. I don't want to fail my classes. Because the assignment I had to do. For this week. Was. Is literally worth 25% of my grade. For this month. So I'm like. Fuck. So I spent like an extra four hours on it. Like finalizing and make sure it was like perfect because if i fail gg's megan's homeless okay um so that was yesterday that's why i couldn't go live yesterday but you know what i did yesterday i painted i painted so if you follow my art accounts i do have a separate account on ig for art it's peace in underscore art underscore so i started this painting it actually looks really nice on camera I decided we'll do paintings on stream and then we'll do paintings offline, okay? So make sure you're following that IG. So this one, I did base colors and then I put the mica powder on top. So I think what we're gonna call this art style is hollow paintings. Like, you know, like a hollow Pokemon card? A hollow painting. So this one is almost done. All I need to do is add another coat of black because it's not fully opaque and then... I'm debating if I want to do like smaller black circles inside to make them look like little teardrops or something. So that's what I did this weekend to calm down. I think it looks very nice. What do you think? Uh, do you think it's cool? Type 1? Type 1? I better see some goddamn ones, guys. And then, since I had leftover varnish, I added varnish to the white parts of this, see? That little reflection. So we'll finish- I was gonna do- I was gonna go live on the art channel if we didn't have Aurora today, but Aurora spawned. Oh, the empty pot is still there, so we'll do Aurora hunting today. So we'll finish this painting on the art channel on Friday. So if everybody watching right now, <coughs> could go follow my art channel, peace in underscore art on Twitch. We do weekly painting streams, click the banner in chat, hashtag free to follow. We're so close to affiliate. We literally just need 10 followers. And then we can get sub emotes on that channel. Come on, guys. We can do it. Okay, no stalling. So we are doing Aurora hunting today. Don't worry. I'm. We're just stalling, okay? We're stalling. You call the other one Gage? They're both Gage. They're both rainbow. <laughs> so, I'm not going to order crumble. I mean, I put the asterisk in the title because, you know... We're not sponsored. This is not an ad. 
because I check their flavors every week and they've been having like a lot of like chocolate flavors and I fucking hate the chocolate based cookies. But this week, they had a pretty decent lineup. So I cut these into portion sizes because, you know, I'm not gonna eat a whole ass cookie. Cause like the servings, <clears throat> the serving size, like when it says like, ooh, 100 or 200 calories per serving, but in actuality, one serving is like half a cookie or some shit. So you're just like, guzzling sugar and it's not good for you so i don't buy it every week i think the last time i had crumble was the last time we did the, we did the actual taste test so i think it was fourth of july right so that was three months ago i will do this every month or whenever they have a good lineup so today let me actually read off the flavors because they had one that i didn't buy because i just it was like a brownie fucking flavor i was like that sounds like ass yeah, so this week they had strawberry cake, obviously the pink one, chocolate pumpkin cheesecake, cookie butter white chip, and then buckeye brownie. I didn't get the brownie one because I don't like the chocolate based cookies, even though this one, the pumpkin cheesecake is a chocolate based cookie, that's fine. That's fine because the pumpkin part sounds pretty good. So, and then I also got a chocolate chip and then two sugar cookies for my sister. These are not all for me. Okay. It was expensive, too, because I got them delivered, right? Because, like, our closest crumble is in our main, like, shopping area. So it's, like, I think, like, three miles away. So, like, an hour and a half bus ride is, like, no way. I mean, hour and a half bus ride, but, like, 20-minute car ride. That's why I can still get shit delivered. So, I when I was cutting these, like, some of the frosting did get on the knife, and I did lick the knife. Uh-oh. But... Just looking at all these, I'm a sucker for fruit flavors, so like any fruit flavor I will love. But I kind of want to start with the Biscoff. Hashtag not an ad. Yeah, I saw you in Scootish's chat too. Oh, I wanted to say hi, but I didn't want to be awkward. <laughs> I was able to watch some of his cooking stream yesterday, but I couldn't stay for all of it because I was still painting. So we're going to look at the cross section here. This one looks like a normal cookie base with some white chocolate chips and then a Biscoff cookie. I usually don't, I don't like hard cookies, so this I'm not gonna like. I don't like it. It's too crunchy. I like a soft cookie. You know, like, I know everybody rags on crumble, but I love a good underbaked cookie. I love basically eating raw batter. Okay, let's first bite. I'm just gonna eat a chocolate chip. Honestly, I'm not impressed. This one is not good. It just tastes like a chewier version of like the Biscoff cookie. And it's it's not good. It's not 0 to 10. Very, not good. Not good. Hi Angie, welcome in. If you have any preferred nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me chatter chatter. Can we get some peace I to yo's for Angie? Welcome in. I swear, so many people say I look like Rainy Rodriguez, and it's fucking annoying. <laughs> I was told that when I was younger, too. <laughs> but it's like, whatever, whatever. No, it's okay, it's okay. I just have, like, annoying shitheads posted all the time in my YouTube or TikTok comments, and I'm just like, bro. <laughs> but feel free, chill, hang out, hang out, whatever you like. Okay, next. I want to try the strawberry one last because that honestly looks the best. Okay. We're going to go for pumpkin cheesecake. <clears throat> okay, so this one has the icky chocolate-based cookie. I don't like the chocolate-based cookie. But the pumpkin part sounds pretty solid. Yeah, I've been following for a while, Angie, but thank you for chatting. Thank you for hanging out today. So this one, 
It appears to have icing and then some cookie crumble on top. Why? Oh, I was like, why is there pink frosting on here? It's because the cookie probably touched each other in the container. Oopsie. It was rainy. Um, they were on Austin and Alley. And they were like the... The chubby comic relief, obviously. <laughs> okay, okay. First bite. Okay. I thought the pumpkin icing would make it better, but it literally tastes like I had a scoop full of brownie batter. Okay, okay, you know when you let like cake batter or cookie batter sit for like way too long at room tent and then it gets kind of crusty? That's what this tastes like. I will never like chocolate based cookies. It's fucking gross. But the frosting, really good. If I could eat the frosting, I would. It's like cream cheese icing with like a little bit of pumpkin. A little bit of pumpkin. I'm, I'm gonna lick the frosting off and throw the cookie away. I'm being honest, okay? Nobody in my house likes the fucking chocolate based cookies. So don't lick my finger on camera. Hi, Lemon. Welcome in. You'll never scare me. I never get scared. You're gonna get a stomach ache? Nah. I did have a big breakfast. Cause like, oh my god. I woke up at 5 today. For no reason. And then... I played Animal Crossing for like 3 hours straight, no joke. Until like 8 a.m. to try and grind more miles for today's stream. Cause I only have like 30,000 miles. And then I exercised, I did chores, I had to do like laundry today. That's why stream wasn't on time. <laughs> you don't know who Rainy is? Look them up on Google. They look a lot like me. <laughs> okay, last cookie. I think the one we've all been waiting for, the best for last. The strawberry cake. What was it called? I think it's strawberry cake. No, I don't actually look at the name. Oh yeah, strawberry cake. Now, I did get a little taste of the icing when I was cutting it, because I did lick the knife. And this one has got to be the best thing, or the best icing I've ever had in my life. So, if you look at the cross section, no filling, just cookie and then icing. And then it also has white chocolate shavings on top. It even smells good. Okay, granted, I didn't smell the other ones, but this one smells good. This one is so fucking good. Did you make these? No. I bought them from Crumble, but we're not sponsored. That's why there's an asterisk in the title. <laughs> so if you look, there's like little dehydrated strawberry pieces. It's also in the frosting. You've never had Crumble? Really? I mean... I feel like they're basic ass basic I mean like mainstream. They're basic ass cookies. They're fucking over. I I didn't tell you guys how much I paid for these. Okay, I got 6 cookies. I paid for delivery and then a $5 tip. Okay? Cuz I'm bougie and I'm nice. Support service workers. I paid I paid $38 for 6 cookies. When normally, I think if you walk in in store and like, um, what you call it? If you like walk in and order right from the store, it's probably like 250 
for cookie but when you order online for like delivery like either through like third party delivery services or through like actual like home delivery where they like ship them to you they cost like three four five dollars each is crazy you guys close yeah i mean 30 for six yeah because i think delivery fee was about ten dollars and then five dollar tips so 38 minus 15 is 23 so still about four dollars per cookie that's crazy anyway this the strawberry one's really good i really like it i think the dehydrated strawberry bits do a lot for it it's really good It probably depends on what area you live in, too. Because I live in Washington, and things everywhere are expensive now. Like, I was looking up, like, what the average cost of groceries is per person nationally. And on average, per person per month, it's like 250 per person. And that's if they eat out once a week. So that's like $250 worth of groceries. But in Washington, it's like 400 or some shit. Our stuff is expansive. Okay. So that concludes our food review. Honestly, can I be honest? I wanted an excuse to buy the cookies, okay? And also my sister was super nice. She was super nice and she got me some treats this weekend, so I bought her some cookies. Washington, D.C. now. Washington State, you goof. I live on the West Coast. I've said that many times. It's called insomnia cookies? I feel- that sounds so familiar. Okay, I- I know there is some controversy with crumble. I know there is, but their shit is still good. I mean, their cookies are really filling, so it's not like- I just took three bites and I'm like, good. Even though I literally just ate before I pressed go live. But still. They're really good. Hashtag not an ad, hashtag not sponsored, but- I, okay, I think the only good one was the strawberry one. The other ones were kind of ass. Because, like, I've been wanting to get more of the crumble, but since they, ha they have rotating flavors every week, meaning it's not going to be the same every time you order. So, like, I was waiting for, like, a decent lineup, but it turns out only one of them is decent. Sag. Okay. What do you guys think? You guys like watching me eat? Also, I have these two zips right here. Sad. You know, okay. We can play games now. <laughs> I was I watch back the VOD sometimes and I forget how like high quality my camera is. Like I'll be like looking at my computer screen. I'm like, well I can see everything that's on my face, dude. <laughs> but it doesn't it doesn't bother me anything. I don't wear makeup, I never will. So you just like cookies a lot. I'm very picky when it comes to food because I'm like if I'm going to spend my life doing things that I don't want to do, I might as well eat food that I like. So if I don't like it, I'm not going to eat it. Okay, chatters, let's go on to the main meat of today's show. We are going to play Animal Crossing with our... Okay, wait, I got to turn the music on. There we go. Hold You live make it for special occasions or holidays? That sounds pretty solid. I would... Okay, I've never considered wearing makeup. But it's just my mom never taught me, so... I, <laughs> I don't know. Okay. So, to wait, I gotta change my category in a second. Today. We had Daisy move out, Sag, but now... We have the opportunity of a lifetime. We can go island hopping, stream ends... When I find the love of my life, Aurora. Okay? Okay. Well, I gotta change my title now. Chatters, um, stall for me. Stall for me. <clears throat> oh. Okay. I think my title was Crying Live. I 
should have copied and pasted my old title. First, Lamau. <laughs> Hi, Ethan. Welcome in. Nice try. <laughs> Okay. Stream ends when we find a world. We're also going to be doing predictions every single island. So today's stream is the stream in which you can earn a million channel points. Um, before we get started, sub goal for today is 50 subs. If we can get one sub, that's epic. And if we get... Let's see. If we get 55 subs, then we'll do Cult of the Lamb tomorrow after the Mario Kart stream. Okay, okay. You talk about Aurora Borealis? No. Obviously not. Okay, let's get started. But first, we need a new outfit. Oh, also, I have my music playing up here. You guys can hear it, but you guys can still see what I'm listening to. Okay, now I can hear my shit. I was gonna say, it feels like just yesterday, the last time we went Aurora searching, but I think literally it was three weeks ago, so not even a full month. Okay. I have crumbs on my mouth, I just realized. Oopsie. <laughs> we should wear something fall. You'll type out the lyrics. Oh my god, that. You, you could try. Oh my god, you guys ragged on me so hard for wearing this. You're like, oh, you're so boring wearing a brown dress. I think it's cute. Or maybe this one? This one goes kind of crazy. Okay, we're not doing bunny ears. We're not doing bunny ears. <laughs> Simple yet represents fall. That's what I was saying, but they were like, nah, it's ugly. I'm glad you like it, Angie. Okay, nothing really goes with this. Maybe the black bow. We'll do red. We'll do red. All right, maybe the flower, maybe. Nah, I don't have any flowers. Oh, wait, wait, well, wait. That's cute. Nothing says fall like 3D glasses. I know. My sister went to the movie yesterday. I was gonna go, but she went to see the One Piece movie, and, um, I regrettably have to say I'm not a One Piece fan. <gasps> Uh-oh! I'm just, I'm not, it's too much lore, I can't get into it. Okay, I think this is pretty solid. The, I hate how everything is a different shade of black. That actually bothers me. But you know, it's fine. It's fine. Anime movies released in theaters? It depends on, like, what the IP is. I mean, One Piece has been airing for ages. It's still airing, and people still love it. Okay, let's make sure the plot is still empty. <laughs> I got so anxious. Because I, I told you guys, I woke up at 5. I was like, oh, I might as well play Animal Crossing. So I was playing at 5. Because I think the game resets at 4, right? But I was worried because of daylight savings that it would fuck it up. But we're good. We're saved. Okay, so if anybody's new to stream how Animal Crossing works, it's usually more chill, more just chatting. So feel free to ask questions, all that cool jazz. <clears throat> Why does your island look good for once? Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> I'm gonna work on terraforming soon. Copium. I moved my house like a few weeks ago. That's something. 
You know what else has m too much lore? Five Nights at Freddy's. I agree. I've watched just about every single map map video on it, or game theory video on Five Nights at Freddy's, and it's just like, too much. Okay, I still have crumbs in my mouth. <laughs> Should we just buy one ticket? Maybe we'll find her on the first island. That'd be crazy. Ah, I bought five, just in case. Because I think last month we went on, like, 15 islands or some shit? We went on a lot. I should have bought these before stream, huh? I forgot. <laughs> you know what? I wish we could play music on stream and not get banned. That'd be so cool and sick and fun. Like, I know some people do play copyrighted music on stream, and that's fine, but when they announce, like, live DMC, live DMC takedowns, like, I think it was three, four months ago at this point, meaning, like, similar to, like, if you stream on YouTube, if you play a song that's not yours, you can get your stream taken down and possibly banned. So it's just, like, it's not worth, it's not worth. And I know there's ways on, like, OBS or most other streaming software to like split the audio to where your recorded VOD doesn't have whatever sound you play or you can split the audio sources but I could do that and I tried to do that on the art channel but it the settings were all fucked so <laughs> and I'll, I don't know, it's just too much work it's too much work okay I think I need to get axes, and then we're ready to go. Okay. Let's go on our first island of the day. Megan failed IT reveal. No, I didn't. I didn't even take IT. Huh? <laughs> okay. We have our first flight ready to go. Let's get our first prediction of the day up and running. <laughs> Hi Azura, welcome in. Hope you're doing well today, hon. I'm feeling very trolly. I think Ethan, you always come in trolly. There was only one stream where you were like hosting the whole time. Chatters, go Gamba. Do you think this will be the island we find her? Go Gamba, go Gamba. Gamba, all your points. Ah! <laughs> damn it, we didn't even get halfway through the prediction. God damn. I guess I did need to buy those five tickets. Did we find or not this time? Sedge. Okay, let's get to work now. <laughs> Oh, you know what I'm excited for? I'm excited for Christmas. Because a planned stream that we're going to do is we're going to look through all of our chatter's logs. Okay, not, I don't, maybe, we, oh, I'm debating if I want to actually do that. Like, we're going to go through the follower calligraphy journal and look through every single follower and determine if they're naughty or nice. I think that's going to be a banger. Did I miss the food review? Obviously. 
Rip Titans. Watch the VOD, easy clap. I better be on the nice list? I don't know. I don't know. I think Lemon is a neutral. I th okay, okay. Actually, I think Lemon is a chaotic neutral. Like, they're fairly nice, but then they also say the weirdest shit. Okay, that's the only chatter I will leak. Everybody else, you have to wait till Christmas. My tummy is not full. What do I do? Um... You should buy, like, $200 worth of Taco Bell and do a mukbang. I think that would go crazy. Or just, like, make food on your own like an actual adult. Which is what I did today. But then I also got cookies delivered, so... You know... Two birds, one stone. Yeah, today was the first stream you were chatted, Angie. First time chat. Do you usually lurk or is this the first stream you're able to catch? You're a vegetarian? Are you a vegan as well? I don't like vegans. Vegans can go somewhere else out of my sight, I was gonna say. I was gonna say D-I-E. I was like, whoa, that's too far. That's too far. <laughs> I never see you live on my list. I was actually going to talk about that today. Okay. So, if anybody watches Twitch on their desktop, you know on the left sidebar where it shows, like, whoever's live that you're following? It usually only shows the first 12 channels, and it's organized by viewer count. So, if you follow a bunch of small streamers and then a bunch of big streamers, you're only really going to see the big streamers on your go live list, right? So... To counteract that, I think you can pin your favorite channels at the top of the following tab. I don't know how to do it. I was going to test up the first stream, but I forgot. Um, or what you can do is, if you have a favorite channel, just keep go live notifications turned on. That way you get a little ping for when they go live. That's the best thing you do. Because, like, even yesterday, um... One of the streamers that I regularly watch, they usually average like 200 viewers, and I didn't even see them on the following list because there was like 15 other channels that I watched that had like 50, like 10k viewers. So the best thing you could do is either pin your favorite channel or just have notifications turned on. I have good news. He broke top 2k in Beat Saber. Hey, yo, top 08%. You should go pro. <laughs> Like, actually? Is there a pro scene? Okay. Is there a pro scene for most every game? Like, I know there's, like, people who, like, speedrun most every game, but... Okay, I don't think there's any type of pro Animal Crossing scene. That'd be weird. That'd be weird. What would you even do? Oh, maybe there's, like, pro fishing links? And another thing, talking about, like, the followers list, usually if someone doesn't have 10 viewers, they don't even show up on the following list tab. It's kind of big sad. I think that, because they enacted that change back in, like, June, and that's when my channel first started to, like, do well, because that was when I was averaging, like, 10 to 15 per stream, but then after that change, it's kind of hard to get over that pump. I mean, it's fine, I don't care. As long as, you know, I have fun with every stream and chat has fun, I don't care. Because, like, I think it's weird how... Okay, not that it's weird. It's great if people can make a living off of streaming, but it's not feasible. You see, people will unview on your list. Oh, fuck! <laughs> End me, then. I mean, granted, this change is only... Th that change is only applicable on Twitch desktop. On mobile, you see every single channel that you follow that's live in that list. Meg's checking the list. She's checking it twice. She's gonna find out who's not using nice. I think... Wait. Okay, wait. I'm thinking of bits I can do for that stream. What if all the bad chatters, I write their names on a piece of paper, and then I burn those papers? Is that, is that like, too far? Is that too much? I feel like that's, like, actual psycho shit. 
Just be like, we put you in the furnace. Just like Hansel and Gretel. What constitutes a bad shatter? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I think it's like if a chatter gets like I was gonna say a timeout, but there's like a there's different reasons to get timed out. I don't think anybody's been genuinely bad. I think there's there's been a few people who have been like kind of flirty and that's kinda weird. But that's not like bad. Oh that's weird, Angie. That's weird. Maybe, like, okay, don't self-report, but maybe you have multiple Twitch accounts. Because, <laughs> like, sometimes I will forget to log out of my art account on my desktop, and I look at my Twitch, I'm like, why is nobody live? Why is literally nobody live? Um, but it's because I don't follow anybody on my art channel. Because I, I solely use my main channel, this channel, for, like, gaming streams, just chatting, and then how I watch my own entertainment on Twitch. But I'm like, bruh, how is nobody live at, like, noon on a Saturday? You only went what you got? Huh, that's weird, then. Maybe make sure you have the updated version of the Twitch app. And maybe, like, see what cookies you have activated on desktop. I don't know. Okay. Is it bad that this is my favorite Kendrick song? Is that bad? Is that bad? I asked my sister if she wanted to get Sonic Frontiers and she said no. So we're not gonna play that on stream, guys. I think it comes out tomorrow, right? Officially? So I remember I saw Connor tweeting about it this morning. So I assume there's like early access for some people. So I think I'm, I think I'm gonna watch like other people play it before I buy the game. I usually don't watch people play games before I buy them. Because I like to watch or play games blind. But if it's a game I'm on the fence about, then I'll watch like maybe an hour or two of gameplay. If it's not a story driven game. And I assume that's how most people consume gaming content, just to see what, like, what the actual gameplay mechanics or like, what the visuals are like before they buy it. But I'm not that demographic. It's because like I'm not necessarily like a gamer, you can see. I'm a casual player, of course. I <laughs> do you have another Georgia Gant Lamo. <laughs> I have three accounts, because I have my main channel, this account. I have the art account, Chatters, go, um, <coughs> cough. Go follow my art channel, please, please, please. And then I have a test account that I do tech checks on occasionally. I did, <laughs> I did accidentally go live on my test account on Saturday. <laughs> during the, um, lost stream we did on Saturday. Because I was like, I was like, how? It's been two minutes. Why the fuck is nobody in chat yet? I was like, oh, I'm on my alt account. <laughs> I was like, lamo. Because usually uh, we have chatters in like the offline screen before stream starts. And then usually like some people will be in right away. Also, Luigi, I saw you in offline chat after <laughs> you typed in chat at like 1030. I was like, oh, I missed it. I was going to type and say hi, but I figured you're gone. That sounds like something that happened to me. Yeah. <laughs> I mean... I think that's the first time I accidentally went live on the wrong account because I'm so used to- I used to use Twitch Studio for streaming and in order to stream on a different account you have to log out entirely but on OBS you just have to change the um it's called profile so you can have multiple um channels on one OBS um program at once so you just have to switch them. It was emo only. I- okay um the way that I can see chat I have mod view. So I can see all messages that were typed up to an hour ago. It's pretty cool, actually. So if I see somebody fucking around, then I can catch them, even if I'm not here. And that's another reason why when we go offline, I stay in emo only mode. Um, 
I'm gonna drop these flowers off just because I don't want to hold it. Uh, anyway, that's why we're in emo only mode when stream ends, because that way we can like have not have people not say bad things. Is the art channel modded on this channel? Uh, yeah. I gave all my <laughs> accounts mod. <laughs> it doesn't do anything. It's just so I can open mod view on the alt accounts. The only piece of two mod yet. I myself am my one and only mod. But that's I. T I told myself I don't want to ever have any moderators until I can compensate them. Or what the fuck is this song? I thought it was East- the, the, like, opening, like, instrumental sounds like Eastward music. I was like, why the fuck is that playing? Oh, it's not. What the- I've never heard this song. <laughs> okay, Chad, let's go Gambit. Do you think we'll find her on this attempt? Surely. We will. We will. Surely. Copium. Oh, it's a- Is that Doja? Oh, it is Doja. Wowie. I only know her popular songs. I haven't, like, sat down and listened to any of her, like, albums or anything. Ooh, 500 in doubt? Come on, we need to find her this time. Oh, no, I've heard this song before. I just forgot about it. I'm hearing the bridge. I'm like, oh, I know this one now. Dude, would it be crazy if we actually found her today? I should just go all in. Matt, you should, you should, you should. Because if we actually find her, that'd go crazy. 35k? Ah! It's a bird, but not her. I almost clicked the wrong option. That would have been really bad. That would have been really bad. That would have been horrible. Yeah, I don't usually, like... I've been trying to break away from listening to the same songs over and over again, so usually I will just play like my YouTube recommended playlist. Because it changes just about every day or every time you log in. And it's nice because I listen to different things every day and I usually like the songs that I do enjoy. That way it kind of fixes the algorithm. Issuing a refund? No. No. Um, because with predictions, the mods, there's like a, a second window being like, are you sure this is the correct answer? And sometimes, I usually just double click it. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, of course it's right, but sometimes I do mess up. But I'll make sure I will be very adamant and not mess up the predictions today, okay? And if I do, oh, big fish. You guys can cancel me. You've never played Animal Crossing? Really? That's kind of wild. Do you have a Switch? I feel like most every person who has a Switch has played Animal Crossing at some point. Um, Aurora is a villager. They're a cute little penguin. They literally are just like me in terms of character. That's why I love her. You don't have a Switch? Bruh. How does one not have a Switch? I mean, I can see where, like, the Switch is seen as, like, a baby console for, like, younger people. Granted, <laughs> I think my sister got the Switch when I was a senior, so she would have been in 10th grade. When we were kids. But. There's some adult games, like, you know, God of War is on the Switch, right? I'm not spending any more money on Nintendo until they actually come out with a new Switch that isn't the OLED. I kind of agree with that. I, I can get behind that. Okay, but my sister bought a goddamn OLED because she's literally brain dead. Don't tell her I said this. I already bitched to her enough for that. Not to be biased, but... Okay, I was gonna say the Switch is the best console I've ever played, 
And I think that just goes to prove that I don't have many consoles. <laughs> Holy. Because I think the only consoles I've had was the Wii, the Nintendo Switch, um, the PlayStation 4, and that's it. We didn't have any consoles when I was little because we were broke. So I think out of all of them, I think the PlayStation is still the most versatile because it's basically like a... You can get apps, you can play movies, TV, play game. But I haven't played PlayStation in a long time because it's in my sister's room. She did say... Oh, I'm still mad at her. She did get the PlayStation 5 about a week ago. So she's like, oh, you can have the PlayStation 4 so you can play games on stream if you want. I was like, thank you. But I don't think there's any PlayStation games I'd want to play for stream. Because I feel like most every big title on PlayStation, the games are way too long. Like, I don't want you guys to, like, oh, have to sit through... Holy bro! Uh, what was I gonna say? I don't think you guys want to sit through like 20 weeks of me playing Ghost of Tsushima, you know? Mega single-handedly causing the deforestation of all islands. You know, the world is burning. Global warming is undeniable and it's happening. Why not capitalize on it, you know? I need to build up my base before the world goes to shit. So why not do a little bit of deforestation? There's plenty of other games. True. True. Do I not have mod check enabled? Oh, it's because um, I transferred all of my emotes to 7TV. So there's a few missing that I had on like Franker or BTTV. So I'll have to add that. Chatters, if you look through my 7TV emote list, are there any emotes that are missing? Besides Booba, besides Kaka, okay? We're not adding those. <laughs> you don't have to play big boy games. But then I would just play Fall Guys. <laughs> Boo, what? I'm not saying it again. You know what I said. You know what I said. I'm also not gonna enable... Salami. That's another one that's on the do not add list. Are you Hispanic? Yes, I am. I am Asian Hispanic. I think I look more Hispanic than Asian. And my sister looks more Asian than Hispanic. That's why when we were in school, nobody thought we were siblings. <laughs> but I am like a carbon copy of my mom. I look so much like her. You're Hispanic too? Hey, yo! Can you add the look ones? No! I'm not gonna add the looking emotes. You can use those in Cutie Lee's chat whenever she goes live. When she's never gonna go live. <laughs> Salami is a fish, though? What? Huh? Do you speak Spanish? I don't. Um, I actually didn't speak any foreign language when I was younger. Because, um, I'm fourth generation Japanese and then second generation Cuban Puerto Rican. So, it was never spoken at home, but I did take Spanish in high school. I took up to, um, Spanish 4, and then I took the AP exam. And I got a 4! So I passed. With a pretty good score on the AP Spanish. Um, but I, I do know basic, but chatters, this is an English-only chat room. Because I feel like most everyone's from, um, N.A. And also because, like, I don't fully understand Spanish. I don't want people to say words that I might not know. They never taught you Spanish? Damn. They dropped the ball, honestly. Peace out to L. Okay, it's another island down, guys. Another attempt that was failed. Sag. Just say America. <laughs> I, I say NA by default. You're right, should have said America. Your parents taught you and if you ever have kids, you're, you're gonna teach them? That's really good. I think it's an- I think it's really good to keep that element of, like, tradition present? Or in any family. I think it's really good. I mean, I understand what you're saying, Mac. I think that's a, a, a big reason why a lot of, like, uh, first gen or um, 
people who immigrate to the states don't like to speak their native language because obviously there's still like a lot of prejudice present in modern society like even like 50 years ago when like your parents or grandparents might have immigrated so i can definitely see why they're hesitant to like teach their children because like i have a few friends to where like their parents only speak their native language and they don't speak english at all so they kind of have to rely on their kids to like communicate whenever they go out I mean, I feel like every household has a different dynamic, and you just have to learn how to navigate it. Anyway, talking about families, go Gamba, guys. Get forever indebted with your channel points. Oh, you guys are crazy. One day, we're, one island, we're actually going to have respawn, and you guys are going to lose your mind. You guys are going to unfollow, unsub, and get so mad. And then I'm going to be like, go home, cry dad. Any believers? Any believers, guys? Sorry, I'm uploading a TikTok hold. <laughs> One point in believe. <laughs> I really want to find her, though. It's been nearly a year. You'll probably put your kids in lessons to probably learn with them. I think that'd be good to like learn with your kids. My mom's been kind of pushing me to like um, use Duolingo and like relearn my Spanish. But it's like, I feel like I don't have time. Okay, I have a lot of time because you know I'm fucking home all day and I don't work. Um, <clears throat> but it's just like, I want to be spending my time doing other things, you know? Like, I spent. Holy. Like, five hours painting this weekend, and that was really nice. Because I think I just want to do art more. Because, like, I'm doing graphic design for school. We do the art streams on the art channel. But I want to, like, have that to, like, to myself, too, you know? Yeah, since my... I think my grandma is, um... Second gen, she only knows a little bit of Japanese. But she goes on like a mission trip to Japan every few years. So she knows how to communicate, she just doesn't like to at home. Because like, uh, my grandma lives in Hawaii, so there's like a lot of Asian people in the community, but not a lot of people speak it. Is Chuck E. Cheese still open and not bankrupt? I think there's a few locations. Do two for two! Okay, we haven't seen the villager yet. It might be her. Did that go crazy? Stream ends after an hour, that'd be insane. I think my sister are learning- or my sister and my mom are learning Chinese on Duolingo right now. Oh, you know what I really want to do? I really want to go to like a Dave and Buster's. Or a type of place where you can like- or I just want to go to an arcade in general. <laughs> you know why? Um, because Tectone, he did an IRO where he went to an arcade with, like, uh, Zoil and a bunch of other streamers. And I was like, oh my god. The last time I went to an arcade was just, like, in a strip mall in Japan. And it was I, but, like, we couldn't understand anything of the machines because obviously they're in Japanese. But I don't think I've ever gone to an arcade here in the States. I mean, because we've always been poor. And, like, by the time you're an adult, you don't want to, like, spend your money on childish things, typically. But I really want to go to an arcade. That's, like, the dream. But then, because, like, I was supposed to go to Dave & Buster's with, like, a bunch of my friends when I turned 21, but that was in 2020, so during peak pandemic. So that would have been D-U-N. But, like, if you think about it, arcades are probably the most disgusting place. Like, everybody with their grubby, sweaty hands touching the machines. I, I really want to go, but I don't think I can muster up, like, the courage to go. Like, I would just be freaked out the whole time. Don't remind me? No, I'm gonna remind you, dude. 
Remember I told you, if I ever become a millionaire, I'm taking all my chatters to Disneyland. And maybe the arcade, too. Do they have an arcade at Disney? Oh, that'd be cool if they had, like, a bunch of, like, retro-themed, like, arcade machines. Because, like, you know the pinball machines? They always have them be, like, funny kind of themes. You know, you know what else is funny? Watching ads on Twitch. Because, chatters, we are an hour in the stream, so it's time for me to run a few minutes of ads. So... You can avoid that by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad previewing all month long. Or you can hashtag sub pre with Prime by linking your Amazon Prime to your Twitch account. Click subscribe, see if you have a Prime sub available. 7 out of 10? That's like the one time Mac said 10 out of 10. And I believe Mac this time. Anyway, chatters, get some water, get a snack. We'll see some of you guys in a few. What a hater, yeah. Kobo was actually a hate watcher. I want to say, guys, we need more clips. We haven't had any clips made for this month. And it's been a week. It's been a week. You guys need to get on it. Clippers, get on it. You guys are going to be fired. <laughs> Peace, I too, bro. <laughs> oh, gonna do oh, prediction? That was obviously not... Aurora. I'm clipped out. No, you're not. You're trolling. You're gonna lose your badge then. A lot. Wait, I didn't... You know the Drake song where it's like... She said, do you love me? I tell only partly. I missed that part. Sag. This bird is ugly though. Let's be honest. They're like too gaudy. It's hard to clip on mobile. True. Just launch on desktop. Easy clap. If you're at home, of course. I think desktop is always going to be the far superior, like, viewing experience. Twitch on mobile is ass. How would you take us to Disney if we don't know, if you don't know where we live? Well, maybe what I could do if, this is if I become a millionaire, okay? So if we get like, a million Twitch followers and a gazillion subs every month. I could afford this. So Oilers, get on it. What I would do is I would give everybody like 5k. Because that- Wait, no. How much does admission cost for Disney? <laughs> it's no way. Okay. Isn't it like 1 to 200 a day? 5k is too much. I would give everybody like 2,500. So 2,500. That way you can pay for your own ticket. Pay for your own hotel. I think that's just the better way to do it. We could just fly out. Yeah, but I have to give you... Yeah, I'd have to give you money for tickets. Obviously. You know, I want to be the next Mr. Beast. Okay, does anybody genuinely think we'll find her today? I have a good feeling about today. You know, the weekend was shitty for me. Today's been a pretty decent day so far. The cookies were out. I probably should have bought two of those strawberry ones because the strawberry frosting is amazing. I have a good feeling. I got a feeling by Black Eyed Peas. He got two out of the 12.2. Because, uh, the way the predictions work, if you put a lot of points in, you'll get a lot of points back. If you put a few points in, you don't get a lot back. Because everything is scaled. It's not split evenly, you goof. So, TLDR, you gamble more, you earn more. Silly. When is the Mr. Beast Club? That would go crazy. What would I do? That would actually go crazy. What should me and Mr. Beast do? Okay, you know how he does, um, videos where he's like, I had five of my subscribers come and do this challenge. Like, how does he actually, like, reach out to those people? I'm curious. Scamish? It's not a scam. It's not a scam. Tomorrow's election day? Yeah, chatters, go vote. Pokemon, go to the polls. If you are 18 and eligible to vote, go vote. I mailed my ballot on Friday. He has access to really good resources. You mean like the FBI? <laughs> Is that how he's able to contact everyone? 
That's kind of scary. I mean, if somebody has that much money... Like, think about what they could do and get away with, you know what I mean? You want me to vote illegally? No, I said if you're of age and aren't able to, you go. We don't like illegal voting. Even though it doesn't happen very often, contrary to um, conspiracy theory, it doesn't happen often. And usually if it does, it's caught. Because there's a digital record of everybody, so obviously if there's a duplicate or a fake vote, they catch it. It is funny. Oh, like the Republicans are like, oh, all these fake votes, all these double voters. The only people who have done it are like the Republicans. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh, the right is so funny. They're all hypocrites. Anyway, another island done. No luck. Surely we'll find her in the next one. Not 18 yet. One more year? One more year. As long as, like, the young people are, like, motivated to vote when they are of age. Because the year... Fuck, what year? Yeah, I turned 17 in 2016, so I just barely missed the cusp of the 2016 election, but... That was an interesting year. I wish I could have voted. All the fucking libtard children we could have taken over. Donald Trump. <laughs> okay, what do you guys think? Should people be able to vote when they're younger? Like, do you think people should be able to vote when they're 16? Because, like, I feel like a lot of government policy affects, like, children's lives as well. Like, in terms of, like, access to, like, um, funding for schools, um, government resources that affect kids. No? Yes? Interesting. I- I don't know. I think it'd be interesting. Because I think the only thing a 16 year old can really do is drive, right? No? Hmm. I mean, wait. Can you, like, have things in your name when you're a minor? Like, if your dad buys you a car, can the car be in your name? Or is it in your dad's name? Because I think if someone is able to own something or have property in their name, I think they should be able to influence policy. You felt overweight, overwhelmed to the magnitude of the I wasn't too phased when, like, I was able to vote. I was just like, oh, okay, it's fine, it's whatever. I can actually feel like I have an impact now. You would say big no to voting at 60? I can never hear that point. But I feel like a lot of young people now are more, I think, more aware and involved with public dynamics when compared to, like, 30 years ago. I think it's the parents until they're 18, really? I'll actually look that up later. I don't know. I just think it'd be interesting. Because obviously, if, like, 16-year-olds are allowed to vote, then that would drastically change the voting demographic. But I don't think many kids would vote anyway. Because, like you said, not many younger people are aware of, like, the political scene. It'll be interesting. The kid can co-sign? That sounds like what it is. I don't know. It, it was just, like, a thought I had the other day. Because, like, I know people, like, a lot of people, like, shit on the youth. But I think they could have moderate impact. But honestly, if we allowed, like, the 16-year-olds to vote, they'd probably vote for, like, the memeiest candidate. <laughs> they probably all would have voted for some whack-ass person, you know? Just for the meme. Ow! Damn it. I mean, they are cute. I think that's Marina. Damn it. Okay, next question. If we did allow 16 year olds to vote, would you vote? I would vote if I could vote if I was 16.
I would vote. I mean, I feel like most persons who actually vote are like educated in the political scene. I feel like a lot of Americans who don't vote just don't give a fuck. If I was fully informed, yes. Yeah, I feel like. I mean, even now, some people just vote willy nilly. But I would assume if someone is going to, like, take their vote seriously, they'll actually, like, educate themselves. Because, like, the last, um, midterms I voted in, me and my sister, she's, uh, two years younger than me. Um. What was I going to say? Um, we actually looked at all the political candidates' websites, their social media, to see what their actual, um, platform is. Um, do not give potato a sub. Asking for a gifted sub is cringe. It's cringe. Anyway. <laughs> Don't ask for subs, seriously. It's annoying. Anyway. Uh, my sister and I, we looked at every single candidate's platform. And some of them didn't even have websites. Some didn't have social media. And some of their platforms are wild. They're crazy. I gift you a sub. There we go. Doing it the right way, Potato. I'll give you some right now. Okay, hold. I got the same amount of points in that. Sag. <laughs> Get mad at Twitch, not me. Uh, what was I gonna say? What's the last point I was gonna make on that? Oh, there's some. Oh no. My laptop's dead. Damn it! Peace and art can't gift you a sub, but I guess I can gift you a sub, potato. Sad! It's fine, though. It, it's the same price, so I don't give a fuck. Hold! Hold! Hey, yo! Thank you for using your channel points? Wait! <laughs> Wait, I showed up as an alert. What? Thank you, Peace and Seventeen, for giving a sub. Ooh, sub goal. People buy go. Wow, I broke my own goddamn sub goal. Anyways, let's update it. Um, 55 subs, and we'll do Cult of the Lamb tomorrow. Oilers mod check? But thank you for redeeming. <laughs> Ooh, an Euler. Wowie. <laughs> thank you for the sub, of course, of course. If you save with the points, why not? Anyway. It's funny. So, if anybody hasn't voted yet, I would highly recommend looking up your local candidates. Some of them are wild. Some are crazy. Yeah, Potato doesn't have a bank, Sag. If that happened to me, I would actually lose my mind. So, shoutouts to you for being, like, nice about it, I guess. Another way. I actually need to look it up first before I ask. Hold. Megaphone streamer, megaphone streamer. Okay, so ex-convicts, so people who were formerly incarcerated, depending on what state they live in, they either regain their right to vote a brief period after they are released, and in some states, they lose their right to vote permanently. Those states are Maryland and Missouri. They can potentially never let them vote again. That's interesting. Huh. Interesting. 
Like, anyway, because, like, that's another thing. Because I think anybody who is affected by policy should be able to vote. So, like, it doesn't make sense to me how somebody out of prison would not be able to vote. When, if they're not in the prison system. Oh, that's weird. Oh, did you say something bad, Angie? You probably got auto-modded, Lamau. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> anyway. Oh, this I thought it was like... I thought they did regain their vote. I didn't realize it was per state. That's wild. Huh. I, I, that's another thing I don't like about America. Is that like there's so many laws that vary by what state you live in. It's kind of crazy. The system will never change. I kind of agree with that, but I don't think we should fully lean into the doomer shtick, you know? Because I think a lot of people have that sentiment where like, oh, nothing will get better. But there's a lot of things you can do in your local community. You can go to your city meetings. You can vote for your local elections. You can volunteer for local organizations. There's a lot of things you can do within your own immediate vicinity. So even if there's not necessarily national change, there's a lot you can do, like, in your own community. That's why we vote, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think a lot of people boil down elections to, to just the presidential, but there's midterms. You can vote for, like, your local city representatives. So. Biden helping with student loans better, yeah. I mean, guys, do you legitimately think if we got a Republican president that would ever happen? No shot. No way. No way. I am so happy that some form of student debt relief got through because I think I had to take out like 40000 in student loans and I can get upwards of thirty k wiped away and that's pretty amazing. Anyway, can we talk about something else besides voting? Pokemon, go to the polls. If you haven't voted, just vote. We're not a political streamer. Animal Crossing streams need to be titled Animal Crossing and Politics. That doesn't have a good ring to it. I don't like that ring. You gotta get something more catchy. I think my favorite phrase is controversial but true. It's my favorite. What is my least favorite root vegetable? Hmm. I don't like parsnips. I don't like them. Mm -mm. Wait, I just realized my name's on the leaderboard. It usually doesn't show up, huh? Guys, I might top. Wait, can I talk in chat? Aw, oh, I don't have the badge. I wanted the number two gifter badge. You love parsnips? I don't like lemon. Lemon's on the bad list now. Did you like my acting? Yes. <laughs> Hi, lemon. <laughs> ah! Oh, the hook! <laughs> I got scared. <laughs> That's three for three, baby. I'm on a roll. Had some mashed potatoes last night. Did you? No. Nope. <laughs> never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I'm not gonna say it. That sounds really nice. Yeah, I'm actually cracked. Should I go pro? There are so many things I want to say on stream, but I know I can't. <laughs> Usually I catch myself, but sometimes I almost let them slip. You know, the intrusive, intrusive thoughts are there and alive and well. But we shouldn't entertain them all the time. What did I have last night? I didn't eat much yesterday. I don't think I had dinner. Say it? Uh, no. What did I have last night? Had your mom. Hey, yo. I don't think I ate dinner last night. Oh, you know why? Okay, you know why I didn't have dinner? 
I had yogurt at like 6 p.m. And then I was like, no, I don't need a full dinner. And then my parents got McDonald's for everyone but me. Because so I was like, oh yeah, I ate already. But I literally just had a yogurt. So, <laughs> sad. Okay, granted, whenever my dad gets McDonald's, he gets the cheapy ass like single patty hamburger in their ass. So I wouldn't have enjoyed it anyway. You should have done it. Nah. Oh, is there someone else or not? Cause I wanna keep you close. I don't wanna lose my spot. Cause I need to know. Dude, that was pretty good, wasn't it? Why they do that to you? I don't know, they're being petty. <laughs> it happens. It happens. How's the moving thing? It's in the works. Because they're still finalizing some construction. So we gotta wait till it's done. But hopefully by the end of the month it'll be all squared away. Be a person or two. Sag, yeah, I'm sag. I mean, I don't have. Okay, I have a lot of junk. Like, just looking around my room, my room, I have a lot of clothes, I have a lot of art things, but I don't, I think, like, in terms of big furniture, I have a dresser, and my TV, my bed, and then a mini couch, and then, like, a little mini closet, you could say, because I don't have a closet in my room, so I have to get, like, an external one, like, a, a piece of furniture with, like, a closet. Chat is moving in? I would hate that. Okay, I was looking up how many people can live in a house. And apparently, you can fit two people per bedroom. And then one child. So, like, if a, if a couple has a baby or some shit. Or, like, if you have two kids that share them, that's legal. And three kids is, like, pushing it. So, it, it can have three. just depends on how old the kids are, I think it was. Um, so, if somebody has, like, a four-bedroom house, they could technically have up to, like... 12 people so like the parents a baby in one room wait that, that'd be four <laughs> yeah living yeah yeah people can sleep in the living room and that's fine so you can have like up to 12 people stay in a four person four bedroom kitchen no not the kitchen is it a washington state thing i think it varies per state but that's like the national standard two or three per room depending on how old the people are like if they're babies or kids I remember one of my friends. It, okay, it was actual bullshit. We're doing prediction. Prediction, prediction, prediction. Go Gamba. All your points. Anyway, one of my friends, um, they had to... Okay, this was actually bullshit. So, they were rooming with their brother and then the brother's wife at the time. And they had a two-bedroom apartment. So, the, the couple shared a room. The kid had their own room. But my friend had to sleep on a dingy mattress in like a little cubby area right next to the living room. And they paid like three quarters of the rent. And they didn't even get a fucking bedroom. So whenever I went to their like house to hang out, we would have to sit on their bed, like basically in the goddamn living room. <laughs> Dining room, it's a room. Yeah, but imagine like having a bedroom where you can't like change and not have people see you change. Like that's fucking wild to me. Anyway, I helped them get out of that situation, so. Uh, basically, I like, kind of give them the motivation to, like, get a better job and, like, get a different place. He needed a curtain. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Dude, it was bad. They're in a bad situation. <laughs> it was bad. But I, I can't. I can't imagine living like that. That's why, like, I told myself. Um, if I'm ever going to move out, I need to be in a good enough place. Like, I don't want to live in a shithole. Okay, three to one. He's got me. Do you need a door to be considered a different room? Uh, I don't know. Because, like, you know how they have, like, little laundry rooms? That is basically not a bedroom, but it's, like, a, a room meant for laundry. I mean, that's not a room. I know what I never understood how they say, like, a two-bedroom, one-and-a-half bath. I don't get it. Just say two bathroom. 
don't make no sense. Uh, okay, I, I see him. It's not her. It's it's a silly pink squirrel. It's not her. Guys, I swear we'll find her. Surely, one of these days. Are you talking about a half bathroom? Yeah. I don't get why it's called a half. I think I think it's actually called a half if it doesn't have like uh like if one bathroom has a toilet and then a tub and the other one just has a toilet. I think that's why it's called half, but it, it's just weird to me. Half equals no shower. Okay, then that's what it is. Well, Okay, because my house, or my parents' house that I'm living in, we it's it's still a one and a half bath, but both bathrooms have a shower and a toilet. But only one of them has a tub. But it's still, like, marketed and listed as a one and a half bath. I think... I think that's why it's confusing me. <laughs> that's weird? Yeah, that's, that's why I'm confused. I'm just like, huh? Life is pretty sweet, I'm told. I get some shit out of luck. Did your parents add the shower? I don't know, actually. Because they bought this house back in, like... Like, the early 90s. The big fish. So... He might have actually added that shower then. Because when they got the house, it was like bare bones. It was, it was like so fucked up. So my dad had to do so much renovations to it. So he might have actually added that shower. <laughs> okay, that, that probably solved my problem. That solves the puzzle. Still nothing yet? Yeah. Um, guys, stream ends when we find her. 24 hour stream incoming. Oh. For example, in Idaho, you have to have a built-in closet for it to be a room. Oh. Huh. Interesting. Okay, you know what's actually something? I was thinking about this this morning. Something actually do what my dad did when he was renovating. Okay. So, in both my sister and I bedroom, we have, like, a little cubby where a, a fucking closet would be. But you know what he did? He installed, like, wooden shelving. So there's no room to hang clothes. So... That's why I have a dresser. That's why I have, like, an external closet. It's fucking stupid. Why would you not leave, like... Because, like, you know how when you look at a closet, it has, like, usually, like, upper shelves and then, like, a huge empty area with a rod to, like, hang clothes on? So he took out that rod and just put a whole bunch of, like, tiny, like, cubby shelves. So you can't hang clothes in it. It's D-O-M. It's D-O-M. And he did that in both... Mine and my sister's bedroom, but he didn't do it in their bedroom. Just fold. Yeah. I don't want c folds. I don't want crease lines on my pants. Or my nice white shirts. That I wear when I wash my cars. <laughs> uh, oh, that's just silly. Uh, the reason why I was thinking about that, because, like, uh, I was watching NMP stream, and Milena was showing, like, her kitchen plan, because they are doing renovations at, like, her mom's kitchen or something. And then a chatter said, hey, I'm actually an, an interior designer. I can give you a critique if you want to. And, and then people were joking, where it's like, oh, you should always consult a professional before you do renovations. And then I was like, yeah, that actually makes sense because my dad did so many brain dead moves when he fixed this house. But I know it's fine. He was young. It's fine. And when I get my millions, we're going to go to Disneyland and I'm going to get a mansion. You know, it's easy as that. I mean, I think everybody is infantilized with the idea of becoming rich or a millionaire, but that probably will never happen. 
Like, for most people. For most people. A lot of it has to do with luck and also who you know, and then also, like, how much wealth your family currently has. Like, I think... I'll probably make enough to, like, get by or just live off of government <laughs> assistance, you know? And I'm fine with that. Because I don't think anybody should live in extreme luxury when there's so many people in our country who are living in extreme poverty. Because if somebody can live in extreme wealth and luxury, why can't the people who are struggling just live with the basic necessities, you know? I think it's crazy how people have to pay for, like, water and electricity. There's been so many times where my parents, they couldn't, they couldn't, like, either afford the water bill or the power, or they just forgot to pay it because, because they couldn't afford to pay it, they would not have, like, their credit card saved onto the account, or they would have, like, automatic payments turned off. So if they forgot to manually pay for it, but like, oh, and no water today, or oh, my dad didn't have no money, so no power today. And it's just like, it's unfortunate there's like, there's a lot of people who, that's their reality. Like, thankfully, my family's in a better spot now where we don't have to struggle about paying for everything every month. But, you know, why can't people advocate for just providing the bare necessities for the population? I don't get it. I think a lot of it has to do with, like, lack of empathy. Because I feel like the people who have money always think that they will never be broke or poor. But you never know what could happen. You never know what could take it all away. Because I think you should always advocate for things that support everybody. Because you never know what will happen in your own life. You'll never know if, like, you'll lose everything but living in your car. Because I don't think a lot of people who are homeless chose to be homeless. A lot of it has to do with, like, the current circumstances in which they're living at their life, and that's fine. I know some people aren't necessarily motivated to get out of that situation, but there's a lot of people who are actively trying to get out of that situation and don't have the resources or the ability to utilize the resources available to them. Why let chat live in the mansion? Nah, dude. I don't know if any of y'all are actually crazy. Because, like, I'm in the process of applying for a disability. Chatters know this. And in order to apply, you need to apply online. So, like, you need to have access to the internet. You need to have a phone number. So if you don't have a phone or you can't go to your library or you don't have access to the internet, how are you going to apply? And a lot of workplaces require you to give them a phone number or an address when you apply. So it's like, how do you get a job? It's kind of like, it's very hard to get out of it once you're in it. Um, because when I was working in food service, one of my old coworkers, she was homeless. Like, she was living on the streets with her mom and I had no idea. But, like, she would come to work and her clothes would be kind of dirty. And she didn't smell the nicest, but I thought she just had bad hygiene. I had no idea she was homeless. Um, but she was lucky to have the job because, like, our, um, our, like, higher-ups management, they were very kind to her. Um, no other place would hire her for that reason. And it's very unfortunate to see that. Or it's very nice to see some people are willing to help, but not a lot of people have that look. TLDR. Advocate for policies that help everybody, not just yourself. Anyway, it's another island done. You you guys need to bring up fun things. You know, I'm going to be a political Andy today. Is it childish that I want to get a house and have all my friends live in it? I feel like that's a very immature outlook, but especially if I'm young, I want to have that roommate experience, you know? Okay, looks like we've... <sighs> we've used all five of our tickets. So we gotta buy some more. 
What is a root vegetable you feel average about? Hmm. I guess carrots. Carrots are alright. They're not my favorite, but they're aight. What kind of headphones do you have? Oh, how much were they? Um, these are Raycons. So the everyday headphones. I got them about a year ago. And they are really nice. They were... They were like $75? Like, but that's the regular market price, I think. But then I had a coupon for like 15% off. So I paid like 60-ish. But I literally never take them off. And there's like a, a noise canceling mode and then normal mode. Um, noise canceling, it'll play like a slight tone. It's nice. And they're really comfy. Cause like, you know, sometimes when you get headsets and like the little cushion, this part isn't like big enough to fully cover your ear. Um, it's really big, so it fully covers my ears so it doesn't press on my earlobes. Raycon sponsorship, that'd go crazy. Any, um, hashtag ads want to sponsor me? Nah, I would never take a sponsor. Uh, I don't think I'd ever take a sponsor until partnership. The only sponsorship you have available to people my size is, like, HelloFresh. Um, because I think Stream Elements, they have different companies that'll partner through Stream Elements. That's why you see some streamers have, like, the, the custom, like, company logo, what you call it, like, alerts on screen and stuff. Granted, some bigger streamers do get actual partnerships through, like, representatives from those companies, but most anybody on Stream Elements can take, like, a Raid Shadow or HelloFresh because they rotate the sponsors every month. Looks as good as- Don't! Don't say anything. He probably actually got a contract because he's a partner, so he'd have more negotiating power than somebody like me who has no platform. So he probably actually has a contract, which is great. Uh, can I just say, HelloFresh is not the best company. <laughs> They're anti-union. Wait, I didn't buy any tickets! They're anti-union, and then, like, there's been a lot of, like, mishandling of their actual food products in terms of, like, actually delivering them. So that's why, like, I don't think I'd ever purchase or take a HelloFresh sponsorship. <laughs> but then it's like, I'm fine with people getting a bag, you know. But I don't... I genuinely don't ever want to rely on sponsorships for income. I want to get to a point where I can either have people support the stream through subscriptions or gifted subs or sell a product on my own. I don't want to rely on outside companies. That's why, like, that's just, how I, that's just how I see it. I think it's different because I don't have people working under me. Like, I don't have an editor. I don't have any mods. So, like, any money I get from stream goes to me. Like, I don't have to worry about other people that I have to compensate as well. So. It's because, like, I just like being on my own a lot, too. I don't like working with other people. I don't like working under people. But, yeah. I think it's important for any type of um, sponsorship you take. You do, like, at, like, the company behind it. Like, I think it's crazy how some people would justify taking, like, the gambling sponsorships. Like, it's different if, like, they give you, like, like, the multi-million dollar deals. That's an insane payout. Go for it, you know? But for, like, smaller creators who probably got, like, maybe a thousand, maybe 10k to do a gambling sponsor, that's like, <laughs> It is, it's just sad to think about, like, how gambling specifically can, like, financially ruin someone's life. And then also their family's life, so. One more, one more. Anyway, TLDR, you probably won't see any hashtag ads on my channel for a while. And another thing is, if you see any, like, smaller channels take a hashtag ad, I mean, like, people who have, like, non-partner channels um they probably just get affiliate links and the cut they get from the actual sponsorship is shit because like if people think about it if a celebrity does a collab or a sponsorship they usually get the product for free they usually get a payout to actually plug the product they might even get like affiliate money when people buy the product using their code so they get a big bag. 
So why should online influencers not get that same... You could say budget. But why should companies feel like they can compensate influencers yet less when some have even bigger platforms than some smaller celebrities, you could say? That's why, like... If anybody gets offered, like, an affiliate link, and you get, like, five bucks for somebody who signs up, that's a scam. Just don't. They, they should obviously compensate you for your time. If they make you, like, make a post or make a video about their product, you should have- you should charge them for, like, how long it takes you to make that video. Um. You should never undervalue yourself or what you can offer to a company. I'm just thinking all the possible like companies watching they click off now <laughs> they're like put peace in 17 on the blacklist just don't <laughs> rip I, I think the best way I can kind of equate those type of sponsorships is like you ever see like the um, middle-aged housewife like start selling like you know those those like multi-level marketing schemes that aren't multi-level marketing like the da 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 pyramid scheme sorry and like they only get a fraction of what the actual product sells for it's kind of like that but worse because you're actually exploiting people <laughs> with the pyramid schemes because <laughs> like the whole model of those type of products were like you shield the product, you get a percentage, and then you sign more people on. Um, it encourages you to spend so much time, like, prepping presentations, getting product ready, when they aren't paying you for your time. And you're doing it in the hopes that people will buy it. Anyway. Don't undervalue yourself or what you can provide for a company. Also, if anybody works for, like, under somebody at a job, ask for a raise. Easy clap. What is, what's the worst they're gonna do? Fire you if you ask for a raise? No way they do that. Chatters, go gambit. Do you think we'll find her? Can I get a raise? Well, you're not even on my payroll. Because I'm not a full-time streamer, so no. The most I will give you is a gifted sub if you use your channel points, and that's all. <laughs> Sedge. <Sedge. laughs> okay, chatters, do you like these political topics or no? I think politics are very interesting, I just don't talk about them super often. I mean, I know the, the joke is we talk about it every time we do Animal Crossing, but... This is the type of game where I kind of zone out, and when I zone out, I think about, like, world issues. I don't know. <laughs> 420 in doubt. <laughs> Good job, chatters. You know what would be even sadder? Ah! Oh, wait, they're kind of cute. Well, it's not her. Damn. Damn, damn. Nope. Wait, what? You don't like the political talks? Damn. <laughs> Sag. I don't like Travis Scott. I don't like his music. I'm gonna skip this one. I just realized it's him. I don't like it. Said she was kind of cute and we can't give up now. Exactly. Stream ends when we find Aurora. Hashtag not clickbait. Hashtag real. Hashtag 24 hour stream. Ah, I think we'll go for. I told my dad five, so. 
can go another four hours. But surely, we'll find it before them. Right, guys? Mm-hmm. Get your I was here copy pastas ready. We're gonna find her. It's genuinely aggravating how we'll get repeat villagers, though. It'd be cool if it just went through the full rotation. But I think we've gotten one penguin like three times. Not consecutively, but in the times that we've gone island hopping. Oh, wait for you. I love how third-party delivery services make food more accessible to people, but it makes eating out less of a novelty. Because, like, being able to order, like, chain restaurants, fast food, or, like, even, like, sometimes finer dining to go, it makes it seem less special. Because, like, I would... I kind of want to try the nicer places for the delivery, but they're always so expensive, and it's just like, you know it's going to take, like, an hour to get to your house. It's kind of not worth the order. I always default to getting, like, just fast food <laughs> through delivery, and I feel bad. But one of my goals is when I can afford it, I want to be able to go to, like, a sit-down restaurant... Like, every week or every other week. Just to try new places. Like, I'm not the type of person to make... Or to order the same food every time I go to the restaurant. I like trying new things. But... That's the goal right now. Buying really expensive stuff makes the tip so big. I know. I mean, like, I can understand how it kind of scales, but... The thing that bothers me also with, like, buying food... Oh shit, I fucked up. <laughs> like, getting food to go, or like, eating out. It probably costs the restaurant, like, minimal of what they're charging you. Like, it probably max... Max. Charges them 50% of what they're charging. Cause like, the main cost at any restaurant is gonna be labor. Unless you're going to like, a really bougie place where like, the actual quality of the food impacts the price. Or like, if it's really like, expensive ingredients they're using but the main thing you're paying for is the people working um the way that i tip delivery drivers i usually just do five dollars like you know the third party delivery services the tip goes to the driver not the restaurant if i'm going to like a sit down place or if i get a drink i tip more because i understand that the money actually goes to the workers who made the food. Versus a delivery tip where all they're doing is driving, they aren't actually making the product for me. So if I'm getting a delivery, I usually default to $5. Because I understand that they're probably delivering like four to 10 orders an hour, 10 being max, like that'd be crazy to do 10 an hour. Um. But if they get, like, a $5 tip for every delivery and they do four, that's $20. Because obviously those third-party delivery services don't pay an hourly. Or, okay, it's not that they don't pay hourly. But they pay very minimal for the actual delivery. So a lot of them, majority of the income is going to be tips. But like I said, if I'm going to, like, a sit-down place or if I order in person, I will tip more than $5. Then not having a tip option for the cooks is silly. I agree. But I feel like it adds so much more logistics to it. Because I know some um, restaurants don't offer tips. Or they only offer like through the computer tips. Which I think is silly. Because <laughs> of course if somebody gets a cash tip it's not going to be taxed. And that's pretty cool. 
But I agree. I think it'd be cool if they did have an option to actually tip the cooks or the workers. But I, I think that'd be too that'd be too complex. But then imagine Imagine like how many people wouldn't tip the drivers then. Right? If you had the option to tip the driver, cooks, or both, I don't think many people would tip the drivers then. I think the they would have to change the compensation methods for the actual drivers. I wish the tables included in the bill. True. That'd be great too. I, I just wish people got paid more in general. I think that's the best option. <laughs> I just wish people made more hourly. Hi, Crystal. Welcome in. But okay. I used to work at a pizza place, right? And, um... The drivers, I've, I've played, I've complained about this many times, but the driver would complain like, oh, the person only took $2. And it's like, the drivers in my state, and any worker, they still have to get the hourly minimum wage, and they get tips. So, and the way that it worked at our pizza place, no insiders besides the people who work dining got tips. So the cooks, the dishwashers, the pizza makers, they got shit. They got nothing. So whenever the drivers be like, oh, I got a $2 tip said, it's just like, shut up, bitch. Like, you are getting hourly and a fucking tip. It's like, ugh. It made me so mad sometimes because I would just be like, oh, that sucks. Because, like, I did dine-in, so I got the brunt counter tips. But if I got cash, like, if somebody had it, because, like, uh, most of the tips were through the POS, and obviously you shouldn't split those because you get taxed on those POS tips. Um, but if somebody gave me a bill, I would split it between the cooks. Like, there was one night I got, like, a 20. There was another night I got a 50, and I split it between everyone. I was like, I feel like the cooks do the most work. <laughs> Honestly. The servers are still important, drivers are still important, but... Cooks make the food. I feel like the company and customers should pay them, not just the customers. Exactly, exactly. That's why we should advocate for higher minimum wage. I hate the people who are like, if there's a higher minimum wage, then companies will charge more for goods. And it's like, they're already charging astronomical amounts. It's not inflation. It's the market that determines the price. So people, company owners, are determining the own price of their goods. That's why profit margins for 2020 and 2021 were insane. Because they, um... They chose to increase the price because scarcity. They're like, oh, we can charge more because scarcity. Um, it's like, there's so much. There's so much that can be changed. But that's why I hate capitalism. Anything yet? No, obviously. The stream would be over if we found her. It balances out in the end. I guess. I guess. But it, it... I think the main point is it's not really on the consumer. Like... I know some states, like, servers, they don't get, like, an hourly wage or they get, like, a a fraction of the state's minimum wage. Like, for example, if the minimum wage is $10, they get $2 an hour, but then they get tips. I know some states work under that model, and I think that's weird. I think it's not cool. What do they have to do for birthdays? What do they have to do? Do they have to sing? Oh, I am agreeing with you? Oh, Lamau. <laughs> okay, sorry. It's hard. Like, I feel bad with chatters. Because, like, just like that with Angie, I'm like, I misinterpreted Lamau. <laughs> uh, I hate it. This is why, like, I just hate texting in general, too. Like, it's so easy to, like, misconstrue what other people are saying. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Shake. Peace out to shake. Oh, it requires multiple servers, dude. I hate that shit. If any of my friends got the servers to sing for me at my birthday, I would, like, literally... Okay, I wouldn't walk out and leave, because I feel like that'd be more embarrassing. But I, I would hate that shit. Because, like, you know the servers don't want to do it. You know, if the servers want to be extra, they would work at, like, Disneyland or some shit. Or, like, some type of, like, Chuck E. Cheese-esque place where, they're, where they have to be happy and extra. Uh, Chatters go Gamba. I love the copy pasta. Keep it going. I'd go home, cry, dad. Me too. Me too. Four twenty in doubt. Good job, chatters. Yeah, I agree. I literally agree, Angie. Cause like, if prices do increase, but if minimum wage increases, then 
You know what it literally is? You know what it literally is? You know how on Animal Crossing you can have- Oh wait, you don't play Animal Crossing. Anyway, there's a- there's a game setting to where you can increase the prices of the goods, but then when you sell goods in-game, you get more money. So it's just like, everything would just be scaled up. The only thing that could happen is if minimum wages increase and prices increase, the fucking greedy capitalists will be like, well, I'm going to charge even more. Then it would just be the same problem again. It'd be fake inflation. Has your dad heard you say, go home, cry dad? No. That would be weird if I said that in front of him, though. That would be weird. I think... I think I got that phrase from my sister. <laughs> Cause sometimes she'd be, she'll look at me when I'm obviously like annoyed. She'll be like, you mad? <laughs> like she'll just say like Mimi shit like that to like just agitate me more. And it's really funny to me. Has anyone you've ever said that to say they don't have a dad? No. Because the only time I really say it is to chat. And I would feel bad. I would feel bad. I'd be like, awkward. Pink? Okay, cool. Thank you for redeeming Angie. We'll do that at the end of stream for you. Thank you. Okay, there's nobody yet. Oh my god. Okay, it's three to two. Four to two, baby. villager on the island was a wasp then I wouldn't invite them back to my island uh, are there any bug villagers I don't think so right I think they're all just animals I mean the closest would be like a frog the frogs eat bugs you are what you eat though Mod check, where's the villager? Oh, come on! Maybe you are the villager? Nah, I'm the only human here, my guy. I think I'm starting to lose faith. We've been searching since January. So, almost a year. I've spent countless hours. We've done this stream nearly every month. What, what do I do? Do I just give up? Do I buy the amiibo card? Now nah, we're only two hours in. I can't get this sad. We're only two hours in. It's not time for that. But you know what time it is for? A motherfucking ad. Dude, that was such a good debate. Sorry, I actually clapped. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, chatters. If you want to avoid that ad, all you gotta do is subscribe. Easy clap. $4.99. Just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad reviewing all month long. And get super cool sub only emotes. Or... You can hashtag sub for free with Prime by linking Amazon Prime to your Twitch account. Click subscribe, see if you have a Prime sub available. After that, we're going to keep searching. Stream ends when we find the love of my life. Um, 
Also, if you have to watch the ad and you can't get enough of my content, go watch the TikTok. I just uploaded a new a new TikTok. Go like it, go leave a uh, comment. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go fill my water bottle. So we're gonna be in emo only mode for a little bit, okay? So chatters, the overlay is on. Feel free and spam as much as y'all want, okay? Have fun. Okay, anyway, I gotta run that ad. And we get some water, get a snack. We'll see some chatters in a few. Spam, 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 spam. Email only chat. Oh, fuck. The VIP is getting tight. You got, you best behave. Screw the VIPs, honestly. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, I like this part of the song. Wait, hold. Wait. Hi, okay, so OBS updated this morning, and I thought it was fine, but it was causing issues with my camera. So, chatters, um, keep spamming, politely hold. Uh, look at all these funny haha -ha emotes on screen, ain't that fun? Keep spamming! <laughs> um, we'll be with you shortly, please wait. Why are you spamming gay pride? Are you gauge? <laughs> okay, I'm still I'm still trying to fix the capture card. Chatters, it's fine. Oh my god. Okay. Please wait after this brief intermission. We promise that everything's okay. The train is totally not crashing.
Hey, Dino, Gage is this capital G, you dummy. Let's fucking go! Okay, it's fixed. <laughs> it's back. Okay, it's back. It's back. It's back! Holy fucking shit. Thank you guys for waiting. I'm sorry. Okay, now you can stop. Now you can stop. No more funny haha -ha emotes. It felt like a bad sensory baby video. I feel like everybody acts like a child, so... Guys, we're back. I still need to fill my water bottle. Oopsie. Oh, wait, the game's not there. Well. Hey, yo, it's back. <laughs> look, see, look, look where it froze on. <laughs> Why are you saying, uh-oh, back again? Why are you saying, uh-oh? Okay, I gotta fix this now. Hey, yo, we back, baby. Thank you guys for waiting. I'm sorry. Usually it doesn't glitch during stream, but like I said, there was an OBS update, and I was looking through, like, the crash log files, um, and it said whenever I plug in two capture cards, it apparently is too much information for my laptop to handle. So if I plug them in funny kind, or, like, at the same time, or sometimes if I... Plug one in, wait five seconds, plug the other one in. If I don't time that right, it fucks up and it's too much for it to process. So sometimes it crashes. But thank you for waiting. Now I have to go fill my water bottle because I am dying of hydration. So emo chat again. There you go, have fun. Go crazy. Pee pee crazy. Hey, look at all this pride. Everybody's gay. Yeah, gage. I have returned. Okay, back to our back. Sorry, I thought I heard an echo. I got scared, but it was a song. Okay, the vocals in the song, it sounded like there was a woman speaking and it sounded like me and I got scared. that cookie 
Because I, I see it right next to me. I'm like, hmm, should I have another bite? Cage. <laughs> Once again, thank you guys for your patience. It doesn't happen often, but sometimes my computer just hates me. But you know what? That is a-okay. Because this laptop is a lot better than my MacBook Pro. And yes, I have two laptops, but contrary to popular belief, I am not rich. I am down $40 from the cookies, therefore I am broke now. What kind of laptop is it? I have an Alienware M17. It's a gaming laptop, but the processing power is pretty good. I use it for all my homework, all my video editing, so it has a lot of software downloaded on it. I can download videos and still export in Premiere and like watch a Twitch stream, which is a lot of processing power, and it still runs great. Um, <laughs> it was fucking expensive, but it runs beautifully. Um, when I was buying, because, like, I used to have that MacBook Pro, and I used to stream from that, but then I couldn't do gaming streams because the laptop couldn't handle a single capture card on it. So, um, I saved it to buy a computer. And I was like, should I buy a PC or should I buy a laptop? Now, everybody was telling me that I should buy a PC. And by everybody, I mean two of my friends who have PCs. And I was like, well, you know, I want something portable. And I don't like having to kick the hard drive when it's under my desk. So I got a laptop, and I like it a lot. I would have bought a PC. Shut up! A PC probably would have been cheaper, because I think I spent, like, 2600 So, I could have gotten a PC, because I, I was looking at prices for funsies. I could have gotten one for, like, 2k, 2300 but it's like, nah. I like the laptop. How much is a PC? Uh, depending on what you want to use it for. But I, for what I need, I can, I'm probably going to spend like 2000 2300 So. Because like for streaming, you don't need anything too crazy. It also depends on like if you want to play games on your PC as you stream. Because I, since I do console with the Switch, I don't do any PC. So it requires a lot less processing, a lot less processing power and like graphics power. Yeah, 2K is I think baseline price. You could have gotten something you could upgrade. True true well you know what i don't have any purchasing power now because i am baroque so i would not have been able to upgrade it anyway Mhm. Mm when is the disney trip um like i said when i become a millionaire so the the moment i get two million then we're going okay i promise you did i not get another shovel fuck i mean frick should we do another no cursing stream? <laughs> I think that'd be funny. Because I think the last time I did a no cursing stream, I think I only swore twice. The, the animation when I'm hitting with the axe is so funny because it's like, whoa! <laughs> Yeah, I know with some later versions of, like, the MacBook Pros, you can add external memory. And I think that's only with models, like, 2020 and later. But I have a model 17, 2017, so. It don't work. I can't upgrade my MacBook Pro. We should do another if I say blank. No. No. I'm never doing that stream again. I'm literally never doing it again. It was horrible. Never. I'm never doing I lost. I had to gift you guys like 10 subs. It was so bad. So bad. Is the VOD on YouTube? Yes. It is. Um, VODs will be up on the main, on this ch Twitch channel for two months. Oops. 
but all VODs from all previous streams, including past subscriber-only streams, are on my YouTube VOD channel. They are labeled by what the stream game is, and then, like, the actual air date. So, if the stream came out on October 2nd, it would be, like, 10 22 or 10 2 22 and then what the title was. I did not change the secret command. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Bad streamer. Old secret. How many secrets do you guys think I have? You think I have a secret every day? You think I have 365 secrets? If somebody has that many secrets, then you're probably a really bad person. Still- Lemon, you did the command earlier. You know what's old. <laughs> you do? Oh, I guess you're a bad person. <laughs> Type one if you're a bad person. <laughs> oh my god. I can't. Oh wait, Cokes. Cokes, I saw Cokes chat earlier. People hate Cokes. I saw you typing the email earlier. <laughs> Two. <laughs> yeah, she's like, not me, man. Not me. <laughs> Two, I'm gonna be on the nice list. Well, you don't get to decide that. I think if you say you're nice, then you're actually not nice. Lemon's gonna get a pineapple this year. We should get lemon a durian. Cause those are very difficult to eat. I think that'd be funny. I'm really glad the camera got fixed though, cause that would have been bad. People, hey, cokes. Is that people sit wave? Uh, people sit. Hey, I was close. People sit. Hey. Oh, shit, we've gone to seven islands. <laughs> Why is the secret still old? Because I'm a very busy person. And by that I mean, I like to say I'm busy. To make you guys feel bad. Oh, I need shovels. I like to imagine you guys keep typing the command, thinking it's gonna change. Cause I know for some commands you can have like, a list of phrases and it'll randomize what the phrase is every time. But that's too complex for me. Dude, PSA2 Snicker looks crazy on screen. Why has it changed though? Cause I have to manually change it. So if I forget to change it, then it stays the same. No. Mod, should we ban lemon? We can auto change it. I don't know how to do that. I thought you changed it. Ah! Oh! No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I vote not to. I mean, I think it's kind of funnier if it stays the same. <laughs> oh, wait, you vote not to vote ban lemon? Did I change it? No. Obviously not. Because if I change it, I have to turn... Like, you know how when I click around, I turn off this overlay? It's because that's where my tabs are. Chatters, go Gamba! Go Gamba, go gang Gamba! I will check. I'm changing it right now. 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 Ah! <laughs> Wrong thing.
<laughs> it's changed, it's changed. <gasps> oh my god! Thank you for the nine holy nine months. Thank you, Emmy. I appreciate that. Wait, wait, nine months, Emmy. I think you have the flower badge now. Let's fucking go. Thank you for that resub, Emmy. Nine months. Let's fucking go. Thank you. <laughs> Wimmy beef. <laughs> yeah, that, that doesn't flow. Well, welcome in, Emmy. Hope we're doing well today, hon. Oh, come on. Bruh. I'm gonna cry. They're not even cute. They're ugly. They look like a human. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't feel like looking at the secret now, but I literally just took time aside to change it. What do you want? See, like, you can never make everybody happy. And that's something that I've come to accept. So I think it's important to just live your own life. Do whatever you want, as long as it's legal. And have fun. Don't care about what other people think. Granted, don't do anything that'll endanger yourself, like don't do drugs or smoke, all that jazz. But. I don't like that secret. <laughs> See? Secrets? They're not always nice. They're not always wholesome, and you wanted me to change it. I can't believe you haven't found her yet. You and me both, man. You and me both. It's been. Nearly a year. Nearly a year. But I think that just means my love is so true and strong. And I will forever be faithful to the love of my life, Aurora. You know, I feel like everybody else would have given up by now. But I will never give up. I know that Jason Mraz song where he's like... I won't give up on us Even if the skies get rough That's it. That's the only line I know. <clears throat> or the only line I can kind of sing. The secret is still the same. Yeah, I changed it. I'm not going to change it again. That'd be silly. Oh, sorry, Emmy just. Emmy, <laughs> why are you DMing me, weirdo? <laughs> oh my god, that's so cute. Sorry, I'll reply to you later. That's adorable. Emmy actually stream sniping. <laughs> nah, she's cute. I can't wait till her internet gets fixed so she can fucking stream. I don't know, controversial, but true. Alright, anyway. <laughs> Only a couple days, please. I'm like going through with the draw, my guy. I mean, like, I l okay. I'm self aware. I am a parasocial viewer for some streamers. Like, my favorite streamer of all time, and has been my favorite for nearly two years now, is Hassan. I know basic ass choice. But he's my favorite is because he goes live every day and he's my comfort streamer i like just having him on in the background hearing him yell about silly things and also educate me so like anytime he doesn't go live or like he posts on twitter ig he's like oh i'm not going live today i'm like <laughs> i'm just like no because like okay okay saturday was not the best day for me granted bad day and I was like waiting for Hassan to go live. I was like, please, please. And then he didn't go live because he was doing like other shit. I'm like, damn. Feels bad, man. I was like that yesterday, yeah. That see like it's because like it's kinda like like watching your favorite TV show once you get home from work every night. You kinda get used to that. It's like a routine. So if you don't have that routine, it's kinda like something's missing, right? When he said you couldn't go live, I was like, no, I know. I know. I feel bad. Like, 
If I could stream every day, I would, but I'm not at a point where it's a smart decision. I think even, like, four to five days is kind of pushing it, because what happens a lot with small streamers is that people... Oh my god, I can't. <laughs> Why does my capture cards hate me today? Oh, <laughs> okay. At least it didn't freeze frame on, like, a really bad. <laughs> like, imagine it gave me, like, a million chins. Okay, well, chatters, um, spam as much as you want. I'm gonna fix this, okay? We're gonna bob the builder and fix this. <clears throat> oh my god. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. So I didn't- oh, fuck, I didn't have to unplug anything this time. Chatters, hold. I promise you, I'm a pro streamer. Saved. Uh, yeah. You guys can hear the game, right? Type 21 if you can hear the game. Nope, you're literally lying. I can see the audio wave, but can you hear the game? 21, 21, 21. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> thank you, Cox. The one, Cox is obviously a nice chatter. I don't think, wait, hold. I think Cox made one sus joke. Otherwise, I think they're pretty good and wholesome. Okay, let me fix this scene, hold. Hey, yo. Saved. You back, baby. Okay, sorry. I don't know why the fuck it glitched. Okay, back to game. I wonder how much broadcasting equipment costs for like actual like television. Because obviously like the camera is expensive, but think about all the lighting, all the tripods. Like, all the cords and cables. I wonder how much it costs them. I mean, I still think the biggest cost for any, like, production company is obviously labor. Because with equipment, it's a one-time thing. You buy it, and you got it forever, unless it breaks. But I wonder how much it costs them. They probably get discounts and some shit, right? Dude. Nice catch. I should go pro. Because I know for me, I've probably spent three to four thousand total in terms of equipment for stream. Because I had to buy the laptop. Camera, if I had to buy it new, would be like $800. Um, lights, cables, capture cards. So I've probably spent three to four K. And also, internet every month is expensive too, because I have to get like a better bandwidth. Oh, wait, you know how, like, with the big box, with the big box movies, they do tell you how much it costs. Because, like, they always, like, analyze the profit margins. They'd be like, oh, it made, like, 50 mil opening weekend. So, hmm. I wonder. There, there's so many things that I talk about on stream. I'm like, I should look up actual numbers and statistics. Because I actually kind of want to know. Was this a self deprecating joke? Probably. I mean, because, like, to me, I'm fine... If people make like your mom jokes, but I like 
she said jokes as much. Those don't tickle my fancy. I don't like them as much. But I don't think anybody's made anything like outright vulgar. I, like, I don't mind your mom. I, d I don't like she said. It's like, eh. It's like, uh It feels weird. That's why, like, if anybody said that's what she said in chat, I just ignore it. It's not funny. That's another rule. If chat is, if I don't respond to your message, it's probably just not funny. Be funnier. Easy. You know, you gotta see what sticks. If it don't stick, try again. With a different joke, not the same joke. She said jokes aren't a goof and gaff. Huh? Is that what I said? I don't know what I say half the time. Now I know why I never talk why you never talk to me. True. I mean, Mac, you do say that's what she said sometimes. Not as often as your mom, but you do say it sometimes. And you know I've never I've never responded to it. Huh? Hmm? Hmm? So I raised my eyebrows, but you can't really see because my glasses. <clears throat> I, I think the reason why those types of jokes are separate for me is because she said is directly innuendous, right? It's alluding to like a sexual act. But then your mom is like joking about fucking their mom. And it's like, that's literally never gonna happen. So that's like a joke in itself. I think that's why those are like two different levels for me. Those are for very special occasions because they slap so hard. To you, they might. But to me, I don't like them. I mean, I would never ban somebody over it unless it's like, actually really bad. But it, it still is kind of weird. Wait, is Ellie gonna leave? Maybe it's the weather or something, but I'm in the, I'm not in the mood to be alone. I could use a little company. Would you be up to me? Would you be up to having me over for a short visit? No, I don't like booty calls. <laughs> not for me. You know, I'm on my incel arc still. Yeah, yeah, you're good, Mac. I get it. I get it. It's kind of like going back to, like... I, I overuse joke phrases all the time, but it's just, like, some I'm like, ah, I don't like it. I don't think, like I said earlier, it, it would never be something I would, like, clap somebody over, but it's just, like, I ignore it. I was watching Amaranth this morning, because she was doing Just Dance. Like, I was watching her literally before I started stream today. I can't imagine my chat room being like that and like uh, so many people are so mean all the time and like saying like really gross things and it's just like uh. I think Amaran's doing good obviously there's a limit to what she can share so but I think she's like you can tell and like her demeanor, she looks a lot happier on stream. Parasocial Andy speaking, of course. But she seems like she's in a better, like, headspace. Because, like, you know when you see some streamers and they're going live just to go live? I think she was on that kind of, like, mode for a long time. And you can tell. But, um... But, yeah. I think she seems better. She's always in my recommended. Uh, I think that's the sign. Okay, I will self-report. I get so many hot tub streamers in my recommended. And I'm like, oh no. I'm like, oh no. I mean... <laughs> anyway, chatters, go Canva, go Canva. Nobody snitch, nobody snitch. She's been dancing like all day. I know, she's crazy. Somebody clip- No! No, don't clip. You're AFK, no problem. No problem. Thank you for coming back though, Angie. I appreciate it. I mean, Amaranth always has, like, so many people watching, so it makes sense that she's recommended. 
to the new berries as well. I mean, I think Amaranth, like, her content alone is entertaining. Some parts I don't necessarily watch all the time. I don't like her ASMR because I don't like... I'm sensitive to sound. But to me, in order to have a good stream, your chat room has to be good. So if your chat isn't good, then I ain't gonna watch. That's the big reason why I don't watch a lot of small streamers anymore. Because, like, if their chat isn't active, then... You literally put do not recommend <laughs> for ammo. <laughs> Lamau. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Are we good? For the most part, yeah. For the most part. Easy! Five to two, baby. I think it also depends on, like, what you call it, uh, like, what type of mood I'm in for the day. Like, sometimes I just like to sit down and listen to people talk, and then sometimes I like to actively chat. So it depends on what I'm feeling for the day. Yeah, I get what you're saying, Angie. Like, I know sometimes it does make me a bit uncomfortable, but, like, I'm all for people wearing whatever they want. I don't care. I'm just like, you do you. And if there's an audience for it, go for it. Okay, because honestly, honestly, if I was, like, super hot, or if I had a really nice body, not saying I would do hot tub streams, but, like, I would I would capitalize on to some extent, you know? Because, like, don't see this as me talking bad about myself, okay? Okay? You're pretty. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, okay, don't take this as talking bad about myself. I think... It's also hard because you compare yourself to others all the time. This is... So, like, I think... Okay. Um, side story. Um, my, my first partner, my boyfriend, he was showing pictures of me to his friends. This wasn't in front of me. Okay, this wasn't in front of me. But he was telling me this afterwards. But he was saying how, like, his friend said I was ugly. And it's just like, cool. <laughs> I mean, like... I don't care about what people think. If I cared, then, like, I would wear makeup all the time. I'd be, like, hyper-focused on my looks more so than anything. But I know that I'm not conventionally attractive. Like, I think I'm cute, but I'm not pretty. Because, like, I think pretty means that everyone thinks you're beautiful, right? When, in comparison, not everyone finds how I look conventionally attractive. Like, being plus size, Being, like... I don't wear makeup. I don't dress up. Um, and, like, I'm fine with that. I don't care. The only ugly I see are the friends calling it ugly. I agree. They were fucking dickheads. <laughs> but granted, okay, I, mean, I didn't like his friends anyway. <laughs> so, oh, uh, God, why are we getting so many goddamn eagles today? Wait, wait, bye, pride. Dude, literally buy pride right here. This guy does look kind of cool. Anyway, it's not her. Anyway, so, th like, I'm confident in how I look. I personally, I love a plus size girl. I think they're fucking hot. But I understand that's not, everybody's tight, and that's fine. I don't let those type of comments get me down. Um, granted, I haven't gotten many shit for that. Um, anytime I do, like, if I get a comment on, like, TikTok or YouTube, I delete it. Uh, actually, <laughs> I get a lot of, like, mean stuff on IG sometimes, because, like, I post all my, uh, clips on TikTok, Instagram Reels, and then YouTube Shorts. So, out of all the platforms, Instagram comments have to be the worst. Um, anytime I get, like, a really mean one, I always chuckle, because in my head, I'm like, man, this guy probably spent like a minute max typing out this comment and they thought this could ruin my day, but I don't care. I don't care. Because honestly, getting more comments boosts you in the algorithm. So you being mean actually helps. But I think like, 
I've never been raised to be critical of myself when it comes to my looks. I was more so raised to be mindful of my actions and what I can do in terms of like academics or performance. So like, like my parents let me wear whatever I wanted to wear. They let me wear dresses, they let me wear shorts, all that jazz, so. They definitely did good in that aspect. Like, I understand it takes some people longer than others to gain that confidence. So I think it's important to be nice to everybody. Goes back to the time old saying, if you don't got anything nice to say, don't say it. Because just because you're strong enough to take criticism or negativity doesn't mean everybody else is. I'm trying to think. I feel like a lot of people pop off on Twitter in terms of like engaging in like little spats and replies or quote tweeting. And it's fine if you do that. If that's how you want to choose to spend your time, go for it. But I don't see myself engaging that way because I don't want to waste my time on it. My time is valuable and I'm not going to spend my time getting angry over a little shithead on Twitter. It's not worth it. Because then it just ruins my day, makes me angry, and it's not worth it. <clears throat> I think it's also like, I'm very passive, so it's easier for me to do than I guess people who are more strong-willed, you could say. Okay, chatters, I have a question. Would you guys be mad if we didn't do two Meg Esports events this month? Because I cough cough might have the tournament for me to play that was supposed to be last month this weekend or it might be like <coughs> delayed again. But I don't know. There's been no announcement yet so I don't know shit. So that's probably this weekend, maybe. So if that tournament is this weekend, then we'd have to cancel the Mario Party tournament and then just do the Mario Kart Mega Esports event at the end of the month. I will be okay, of course. You don't have a goddamn Switch, so you, you literally have no opinion. You are not allowed to vote. <laughs> so, maybe instead, for the Mario Kart tournament, since we probably won't have a Mario Party tournament, if we only do one tournament, I give VIP to top five. Or maybe top four. I think top five is too much. Maybe we do top four instead. I can give VIP. I mean, what if all the sweats show up? I think for the past two tournaments, we've only had... I don't think Vengeance has been playing for the full tourneys, that's why. Vengeance always crushes. Even though I'll probably get less. I mean, Cobobble, you can keep your VIP if you become the best clipper I gain. <laughs> Please, no. No, Vengeance is nice. They're like one of the few sweats who like occasionally watches the other streams I do. So they're a good chatter. <laughs> Max, stop, stop. Tanuki's nice too. Tanuki's nice too. <laughs> Granted, I think Tanuki and Vengeance are the only sweats who watch the other streams sometimes. So, we'd be nice to them. I know, but they're so good. I think you just need to get as cracked as they are. And you'll be set, right? Hacker? I think Hacker is good, but they're not like as cracked. Give Hacker like two more years. <clears throat> because 
we're planning on moving like in the final two weeks or one of the final two weeks of November. And I still need to make sure we have everything set up. Because like I know for sure I want to keep the four day schedule. Okay, we're leaving Bad Island. Um, I want to keep the four day schedule of three days on main channel and then one day art stream. And then bonus fuck. And then bonus streams on weekends. Also, chatters. Um, as evident from this past weekend, I don't know if I'll be able to stream on weekends anymore. Because my parents don't like when I stream when they're home. Or when they're both home. So maybe we'll do bonus streams. Maybe on Monday. On Mondays. Because we... There's so many. Because we have Monkey Ball, Fortnite, and then... Um, darker side. I feel bad because I know weekends is when most of the people can watch. So I I don't know. Why not? My parents were really mad this weekend. They, okay, they were just not in a good mood. Which, bad RNG, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. It, it's hard when, like, everybody's home. Do they want you to get monies? I mean, okay. I will be transparent. Um... When I told them my October revenue, they were like, why didn't you make more? And it's like, okay, for context, my best month was August, because obviously subathon. Um, I cannot say exactly how much I made, because that's TOS. Um, and then September, I made about two-thirds of what I made in August. And then... October, I made a third of what I made in August. Meaning, based on like what my parents have seen, so they see like my my revenue <laughs> goes down, and they're like, "Why is it going down?" But it's like they don't realize that it's not like a a job to where you clock in, clock out. It's solely donation based. That's why like I don't care. But sub count my okay my, my goal sub count is 50 my goal keep 50 that's the goal um like if i because like if i have 50 subs okay public knowledge most people's revenue cut from subs is about half not exactly half because i don't know for sure but it's about half so if i have 50 subs that then that means i get about 100 150 ish every month and that's great uh, so that's the target. That means I can at least cash out. So, anyway, when they were like, well, why did you make less in October? I was like, well, you know, people are saving for holidays. You know, they want to spend money on their soul. They don't want to donate, and that's fine. I can respect that. And they're like, well... And it, I can't share everything that they say, of course. Because <laughs> some stuff is really mean. But, um... It's just like, they don't, they, they simultaneously like what I'm doing. Like, they can recognize that streaming and making stuff online has potential. But they don't realize that it takes time to build a platform. Like, okay, long-term goals. Long-term goals. I want to be able to make something, like make a product or sell art or do something tangible. Like, Something I can give to people. And in order to do that, you have to have a platform. So streaming is the best way to build a core audience who likes you. And that's fine. Uh, that's not necessarily the main reason why I started streaming. I just wanted to have an outlet. And also, like, people to hang out with. Because, <laughs> like, I'm one of those pandemic streamers where, like... Wait! Prediction! Where I started streaming because I had no friends during pandemic. Anyway, go Gambit. I think we'll find Aurora. Um, anyway. So, okay. They didn't basically say... Um, if your revenue doesn't go up, then you have to quit. Because that's crazy. Because, like, it's all my equipment. It's not like they can take away my computer. Right? Um, that, that's why, like, a lot of the things that I have, like my furniture, is all mine. Um... I bought my own phone. I'm on my own phone plan. I Looking around my room, 
the only thing that is theirs is literally the hangers that my clothes are hung on. I have bought everything else in my room. So everything else is mine. Um, so they have no leverage to take away my things. If you pay for everything, they can't get menu. Yeah. But it's hard because I'm not working and I'm not able to work right now. So they feel like I'm doing nothing. But it's not okay. It's not like I'm going out fucking around, getting high, drinking. I don't do any of that shit. Like, you know, I stay home. I do my chores. I behave. You know, I don't, I don't fuck around. I mean, it, it's hard because, like, you can't... It... When you have no financial power, it's hard to feel like you have a voice in decision-making. And that's something that I'm gonna have to overcome. So, it's fine. That's your mom. She's like, I go to college. And she's just like, when are you gonna get a job? Literally. Literally. Hi, Shield. Welcome in, huh? But, see, like, that was me a year ago. Because, um, some peace in lore. I started college. I did online college right out of high school. So, I've been enrolled in a for <laughs> five years. Um, the reason why I'm not graduated yet is because I had to take a few breaks. Because I had to work and- Ah, oh, come on! And, like, mental health reasons, I had to take breaks from school, and that's fine. That's nothing I'm ashamed of, because I think everybody goes about life at their own pace, and it's fine if you're a little bit behind, or a little bit ahead of, you, of others, that's totally fine. Um, but, something that- that's actually wild that they did. This was- Holy- Jesus, this was in 2018. Um, because my parents told me while I was initially enrolled, because I was working the whole time I was in school. They were like, you know, as long as you're in college, you don't have to pay for rent. You don't got to pay for anything. You know, you got to focus on your education. And I was like, sick. But then in late 2018, so about a year after I graduated, I was working. I was saving money. I was actively paying off, like, $500 worth of my student loans every month. Like, I was working to, like, um, pay off my fucking loans. And then they were like, well, actually, you need to start paying rent now. So I had to, like, pay them 600 a month. So then I had to stop paying off my student loans because, like, I still wanted to save money when I was working. Um. But it's just, like, it, it'd be different if I were on my own, then I could fully control my finances. But since I'm at home, which is obviously a luxury, it's a very kind thing that they're doing. But, okay, I've seen so many TikToks of, like, college kids being like, oh, god damn it. That's, like, five to three now. Anyway, I'm like, college kids being like, oh, I live at home with my parents. What does it cost you? And then it cuts to them looking sad, and it's like, my mental health. <laughs> Like, I've seen that punchline so many times, and it's, like, literally so true. But, you know, I am almost at a place to where I can move out. Hopefully it works out. So, I promise. Things will get better for both the stream and mostly myself. Like, hopefully everything works out. So, everything will get better. I mean, that's what, it, what you gotta keep telling yourself, right? I don't like when people say it could be worse. I think it's a lot better to say it will get better. Because when you say it could be worse, it automatically, like, minimizes what you're currently experiencing. Versus saying it's gonna be better. It's kind of saying a similar thing. But it's kind of making you focus more on the future and what you can do to make your future better. Because, like, just saying, oh, it could be worse is just classic whataboutism. 
Because, like, I can understand comparing yourself to others is good to some extent, but to me it's made more, like, more of a negative thing. Because, like, my parents, they're, like, the cliche thing to be, like, well, you could be starving in some third world country so I can say mean thanks to you. And it's just, like, that's not the point. That's not, that's not how it should be. I know they're old, so. <laughs> I say to bra. I do mio. I do mio. Boomer parents, yeah, they're fucking old. I mean, I don't know how good young parents are either. Because I think it's weird when parents are like buddy buddy with their kids. I think that's kind of weird too. I think there's got to be a good balance between being friendly with your parents and also like having that boundary. Yeah, I totally can see what you're saying, Angie. Like, it's such a drastic like environment change and like also like seeing somebody you usually aren't around for like all day every day. I can definitely see why it's so much more taxing. That's why, like, I told myself, if I'm gonna move out, I don't want to come back. And I feel like that's what a lot of people's goals are when it comes to moving out, but I genuinely don't want to come back. That's fine. I would like to clarify, I'm not in any immediate harm or danger. It's just my mental, not my physical health. So, I am fine. Because, like, I've, I've always told myself, if I'm ever in a situation, whether it be, like, at home, in a relationship, and it's, like, physically abusive, I would get out of there. Or I would seek whatever friends, government resources I have available to get out of that situation. And keep in mind, um, there are, you can always contact your local authorities, even if you're an adult. There are specific departments that will handle adult abuse situations. So don't feel like there isn't help and resources available to you. Dude, he would turn off the fucking Wi-Fi? Okay, that's psycho shit. <laughs> oh my god, I've never heard of that. That's crazy. I'm sorry, man. You know, I wouldn't be able to watch YouTube till 1am if I did that. That's bad. Dude, because, like, I fall asleep watching YouTube videos, like... Because I need to have, like, noise for me to fall asleep. Oh, wait, I can just download videos. There we go. I mean, I feel like every parent has some type of, like, weird and kind of, like, not cool room. Sorry, or not cool rule in their household. But as long as they're not, like, too invasive or actually abusive, I think it's- you kind of have to respect it and it sucks. I wonder why parents are like that. I- when you give anybody some semblance of control over another human being, they're obviously gonna use that control in a positive or a negative way. He would believe the Wi-Fi is bad, like, radiation? Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. Do they think they get radiation from the microwave, too? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. That's like some 1950s ideology right there. As I get older... I call my parents out all the time because I feel like I have a voice now. See, I do that sometimes as well, but anytime I do, it doesn't end well. <laughs> so, that goddamn 5G. <laughs> oh, I can't go to. <laughs> no. For microwaves, they have like a panel inside the door where it blocks the radiation, so it's not toxic anymore. Oh my god, no way. Sorry. I'm sorry, Angie. It It sucks when you have bad like family RNG. 
is very veg. Well, you said you lived there for two years. Are you on your own now? I hope so. Okay, because, like, my parents, they're kind of irrational, but they're not stupid. Like, they listen to science. They're, like, not actually brain dead. They're just kind of, like, irrational, so. I live near college? That's good. That's good. Yeah, Mac, I literally... I, I fully resonate with you on that. There, there's like so many things that your parents will say and they don't realize will stick with you and it's hard when you're the kid because you kind of have to forgive them but there's just some things that you have to get over like it, it's it's hard because like you know, sometimes there's things you can't really take back. Granted, I don't say mean things. I just want to say I love these vulnerable chats. I mean, that's what Animal Crossing's for, baby! <laughs> Usually stream is more chill, but... Or not chill, more hype. Uh, honestly, Mario Kart streams are best stream. I'll say it. Um. It, anyway, was it? what was I saying? Um... It's hard because you kind of have to forgive your parents because ultimately I like to believe your parents will always have your best interests in mind and they feel like they're doing the best thing. So I genuinely hope that they don't do anything with malintent. That's kind of why you have to forgive them for things. Or Okay, you don't have to. Like, obviously some things are not forgivable, right? But I always have that, like, thought in my mind where, like, you know, ultimately they probably didn't mean it or maybe they could have acted better but you know they still care at its core they are all I've ever known at the end of the day and you say and do things that defy me and I hate that oh Guys, are we writing like Twimbler, Tumblr rant posts now? Damn. I think we should just never even parents. Literally, Angie, literally. I'm turning this overlay off. No emotes. Literally. I. Okay, I have to run an ad. I have to run an ad. Sorry. I. We'll go back to the discussion after the ad. Um. There's so much. Because, like, I am fully under the belief that people form their, like, morality and rationale over their lived experiences. So, like, if somebody is, like, being mean or fucked up to you, then they probably just experience something bad as well. And it's how... It takes a lot of, like... Not courage, but, like, also... What's a good way to say it? strength it takes a lot of strength to understand that about people and be able to forgive and it's okay if you don't have that like inner strength to do that right away like it takes people years sometimes to forgive people who have wronged them but as long as you can acknowledge that people who have wronged you for most things some things are unacceptable like you know, essay, assault, that type of thing. Uh, or abuse. Those are not forgivable. Or those are, yeah, not forgivable. Because those are crimes. Those are crimes. Um, but for other things, it's okay if it takes you a while to forgive. That's totally fine. But you still have to acknowledge that that person is probably not a bad person. Okay, chatters, before we go into the discussion, only share what you feel comfortable with, okay? Okay? Okay. <laughs> no drama dumping. 
before anybody crosses the line. Okay, I, I literally have to run it in. I have to run it in. I have to run it in. Anyway, if you want to avoid that ad, all you gotta do is subscribe. Easy clap. 4 dollars just $5. Skip your copy and get ad free viewing on the thing. Or you can hashtag sub for free with Prime by linking Amazon Prime to your Switch. Um, click subscribe. See if you got a Prime sub available. Or maybe if you're lucky, you'll get it. Oh, they just gifted. Uh, get some water, get a snack. We'll see some of you guys in a few. That was peace I to evil smile out of peace I to stop. What the fuck does that mean? Huh? Okay, I don't like this song. Oh. What's this song? It was an Imagine Dragons song that I didn't really like. Like, I haven't heard it before. But, like, you know when you hear a song in, like, the first 30 seconds, you're like, I don't like this. Skip. I don't know what it was, but I, I, I didn't like it. Oh, I gotta buy more goddamn tickets. I don't mind Imagine Dragons. I think a few of their songs are good. But it's kind of like... They're like too mainstream. They're too normy. Okay, guys. We've done ten islands. Still no luck. <laughs> so two minutes this is cut off. Two minutes and one second? Not good. Two minutes on the dot? No radiation. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> I mean, I think microwaving something for two minutes, like leftovers, is way too long. That's way too long. Okay, guys, we might actually run out of Nook Miles today. Oh, no. I literally only have enough for 10 more. I never thought this would happen. I remember one stream and chat was like, Whoa, you have 99,000 miles. That's crazy. Look where we're at now. Okay, stream might end in literally like an hour. <laughs> oh, no. Any chatters have um, Nook tickets? Mocek? And I grinded like 10,000 miles this morning. I was actually going crazy. In game, not in real life. I was like speed running. I'll get tickets and bring them to you. No, it's fine. I was trolling. How many you need? 69. Oh, wait, actually, maybe. Maybe. Okay, what do you want in exchange? I don't want to do it for free. What do you want in exchange? Not VIP. I will not give you VIP, Mac. That's too much. Do you ever play community games? Kind of. Um, twice a month, we do playing with viewers. Um, on the last Sunday of every month, we do mark our tournament, and then on the second to last, or in the middle of the month, we do a Mario Party tournament. So, yeah. Um, the reason why I don't do playing with viewers every stream whenever we play Mario Kart, for example, or any type of multiplayer game, is because when you play with viewers all the time, people get bored of you. Um, it's like when you see somebody averaging 100 viewers, and they can't even fill a lobby of 10 sometimes. Nothing, I don't play this game. Um, how about, Mac, how many tickets can you get? That's the question. Because I'm willing to do gifted subs to chat. How many tickets do you think is worth one gifted sub? And don't say one ticket equals one sub, because that's psychotic. That's actually psychotic. 
And I am Brooke. <laughs> I think one sub equals ten tickets. I think that's... I think that's fair. What? No, no, Mac, you're trolling, you're trolling, you're trolling. You're trolling. Wait, well, wait. What's well, actually... Because isn't there, like, a market for actually buying shit in-game? Oh, wait. It's just saying, like, the... the Wait, no, I gotta look up Nukazana. Five equals... No, I think... I think ten. I think ten. Okay, Nook Mouse ticket. Bro, this guy's selling a thousand? Make an offer? What? What? Oh, was it like auction? It, nobody has like a baseline price though. That's kind of dumb. Okay, wait. I'm, I'll see what the market price is. Ooh, I can get 10 tickets if I give them a chic wedding candle set. One ticket equals 10. I agree. I think that's good. Accepting... Wait, is there no, like, currency op option? Well, you can only trade. You can only trade. Let, let's do... Cost for Nook Mouse ticket USD. Okay. Okay, okay, guys, 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 guys. I need to show you. I need to show you. You guys will not believe what I am rating right now. Oh, wait, it's gone. Shit. Okay, this is from akrpg.com. It says... Wait, nothing will like. Nothing will like. It says, okay, it's not showing. It says, one Nook Miles ticket on this website is 28 cents. 28 cents? Wait, 2,000 Nook Miles tickets for $4. Guys, guys, the market. Guys. Oh, it, the way they calculate it is because, like, a thousand bells equals, like, a dollar. This is a scam, bro. I can buy for four dollars, less than it costs to subscribe to my own channel. I can get two thousand fucking tickets? It's a scam? I mean, I think that means... Okay. Hmm. I think if a thousand, no, two thousand is four dollars. No, I'm not gonna give you anything. I'm gonna gift chatty sub. We'll give chatty sub. Hmm. So, <laughs> dude, that's crazy. I didn't realize they were that cheap. Is it really that easy to get? Damn, that's crazy. <laughs> And 28 cents that's insane you have 43,000 so that's about 20 how many want are you gonna play the game I'll take 15 15 for one gifted sub to chat Yo, hey yo. Chad will get one gifted sub when Mac delivers the goods after this island. Chatters, go gamble. Do you think we'll find her this time? Surely we will. But if we find her, then do I have to make the deal? Hmm, I need to change the ISO. I'm way too close. Okay. 
Can you imagine we find her? <laughs> that we just did all that research for nothing. Tony the Tiger has a Twitch channel. Is it official or like an alt? Because I know some big companies have Twitch channels. Because I've seen like a few like channels on like the homepage that are like Presented by Amazon Prime Video. Or like big companies like that. And they just like... Wait, no. What was it? I think... About a week ago. I saw Multiverses. The official Multiverses Twitch channel rebroadcast like Scooby-Doo episodes. Wait, isn't Tony the Tiger from like Frosted Flakes? I remember seeing commercials all the time, but my mom never got it because she knew we wouldn't like it. Because even though it's glazed in sugar, it still tastes icky. <laughs> like, it tastes kind of healthy. I think the only cereal that is good is the Cocoa Pebbles. Because the flavor is the milk you get. The cereal, and then you get a bowl of chocolate milk to drink afterwards. Every other cereal is bad. I mean, like, I could snack on cereal, because sometimes when you get milk, it makes it too much. Like, you know, like, the Garona kind? I can eat that, like, just as, like, a little snack. No, they're not here. Mod check? I need to enable mod check, huh? I'll do that during the next ad break, because I forgot. No, it's not that I got forgot, I got distracted. Because my camera froze, and then we had the parent discussion last ad break. I don't think there was anything else that I really wanted to share during the parent discussion, because, like, I- Okay, I was on the cusp of oversharing. Like, I was right on the line. I was like, nope. Gotta step away from that line. Because, like, once you say something online, you can't really take it back. I feel like a lot of people who, like, have... Okay, you will see a lot of crazy one-viewer streams, I will say. Um, it's very easy to overshare when you think nobody's listening. Or if you have a small handful of people watching. Because you think that, oh... These people probably don't care. Or these people probably won't, like, screen record or screenshot or repost or clip. But you never know who's watching. Because, like, the way I try to conduct myself for the most part is, like, I pretend I have a lot of people watching. Like, I pretend I have, like, a hundred or a thousand people watching. Because, like, genuinely, would you say what you're saying if you knew you had a thousand people watching live? That's why I get kind of taken aback when I see some larger streamers say some, like, kind of not okay shit. <laughs> when they have, like, a very large platform. Or sometimes when they overshare, I'm just kind of like, how about, <laughs> how about not tell the internet that? Granted, like, I have, like, established my own personal, like, mental boundaries of things that I won't talk about on stream. I would like to clarify, I'm not in any immediate danger or harm, so no need to worry. But there's obviously, like, some things that happen in your life that you don't necessarily want to share. Because, like, you don't necessarily know if you're fully equipped to handle that conversation. And also, you don't know if, like, the people watching can handle certain conversations in terms of, like, trigger warnings and that type of thing. Um, I, knew I, I know I do talk about more serious things sometimes, but I think I try and talk about it in a way that is more, like, informative and I try not to be too specific when it comes to topics concerning trauma because I can understand not everybody can is prepared to handle those conversations at times so. 
Oh, I, I thought the shadow was a rooster and I was gonna get mad, but it's not. We're saved. Jaywalking? What? I mean, jaywalking is one of those laws that I will break. Because it's just like, why would they not put a sidewalk where I would jaywalk? I think jaywalking is bad because a lot of people will just step into the street without properly like, looking left, looking right, and then left again. But the issue I've always had with that is like, when you look left, right, left, what happens if you don't look right again? What if something came from the right? That's why, like, <laughs> whenever I cross the street, I constantly look back and forth. <laughs> because I get so worried. Because in my head, I'm like, okay, I look left, I look right, I look left again. Wait, I gotta check the right again. Wait, I gotta check the left again. <laughs> I feel like everybody has jaywalked, like, even if you went when the hand symbol was still up, you jaywalked. True. I mean, I think jaywalking is harmless for the most part, as long as there's no cars. And as long as you're walking before you- or you're looking before you step into the street. I think it's fine. I think it's harmless. Because, like, the only danger to me that jaywalking poses is if the driver- doesn't expect to see a pedestrian in a non-pedestrian zone, which I think is fine. But I, I still think, like, okay, you shouldn't jaywalk if you see a car approaching. You're literally dumb if you do that, okay? You should only jaywalk if there's no cars approaching. Okay? Okay. Not all places have designated crosswalks anyway. I know. I know. Is it Aurora? No, obviously not. I'm ready when you are. Hey, yo. I will open my island and I'll, I'll whisper you the code, okay, man? But then you're leaving right away. <laughs> it was called the Syria Bowl? Oh, I think... I think there was, like, a League of Legends tournament that was sponsored by, like, Grubhub or something. Because I remember Cutie Cinderella was on it, and I watched it for, like, five minutes, and was like, oh my god, Cutie's on it. But then I got bored, because I don't like League. Or, I think League is kind of boring to watch if you don't like the game. Got a cool fit on? It better be cool. Is Are you going to wear the Meg Esports merch? Okay, guys, you cannot see the code. This is for Mac. And then Ma I will give Chad a sub. They play Fall Guys? No way. Get a- Get to put a fence down so that she can't do crimes? True. True. Okay, this is the one time I will accept bribes from chat, okay? The one and only time. And it's partially because I literally can't buy more tickets. Stream ends, we find Aurora, or when I run out of tickets. And in Mac, if you try to scam me and only give me like one ticket, you're banned. <laughs> no way. <laughs> okay, Mac, I'm sending you to the code. There we go, code sent. <laughs> well, I shut up here. Okay, this is gonna be a good old exchange of goods. We meet outside the airport, you drop off the goods, I salute, you leave. What crimes can you do in Animal Crossing? I mean, you can do this. 
I was gonna hit him with the axe. <laughs> I was gonna commit murder. In game. Yeah, we're gonna... Do you drop the goods? IP say 27? You leave. I prevented a death. I guess. <laughs> yeah, you saved Han's life, my guy. Mag is a hero, I guess. I mean, Mag is literally saving the stream. Okay, hold. I'll be right back. My mom didn't have her key. Hmm. Hey. <laughs> hey, Mac. <laughs> Got my tickets? <laughs> Give me my tickets. <laughs> Steal the money bags? No. Guys. Guys, guys. Thank you, Mac. Oh, wait. I was gonna kick you. I didn't... <laughs> Lova, sorry. Sorry for the wait, guys. People buy Mac. Okay, as promised. As promised. But I gotta close the island now. Now we can wait dinner. Thank you, Mac. Thank you for keeping the stream alive. Okay, chat will get one gifted sub. But let's see who's gonna get it. Wait, hold! <laughs> oh. Can you give to someone specific? Fuck. Too late. It's it's for random. It's for random. Pure RNG. Wait. Hey, you know this what you wanted? Okay, good. I was hoping it went to Angie, because usually um gifted subs go to like active chatters if they're non sub. Let's go. Enjoy your emotes, Angie. Wait, look! I'm not on the leaderboard anymore. What the fuck? What? Scroll Twitch. I don't get no free clout. <laughs> okay, we're good. Yeah, enjoy the emotes, Angie. Okay, we're up. Wait, Mac, how many tickets did you give me? 
Oh wait, I said 15, Lamau. Never mind. I thought I said 20. I said 15. Never mind. I can't be mad. I rolled the leaderboard? Of course. You're getting old. I was like, no, I'm getting banned. Why would you get banned? <laughs> no. Nah, nah, you good. You good. Jesus Christ. Sorry. Did you know there was a camel behind you? Yeah, they sell me rugs. It is time once again. Surely this will be the island, right? Oh, close the gate first. Can I open the fight? Of course, of course. The only time you guys are allowed to fight is in my chat room. And by fight, I mean spam, peace, I two punch. That is the only time it's allowed. He chatters go gamma. Do you think we'll find her on this attempt? I think the first thing I want to make when we move out is fish, obviously. Oh, come on! God damn it. I'm just never gonna be happy, am I? It, it's never gonna happen. But you know what? We're gonna keep trying. Make the salmon? Yes, I will. I want to make deviled eggs. That sounds really good right now. Incel Argos crazy. <laughs> Is that why we're not finding her? It's because I'm an incel, so I'm just never meant to have a GF. <laughs> Damn it. 
Should I no longer be an incel? Maybe that'll make her spawn. <laughs> oh. Dude, why are there so many egg haters in chat? I guess that just means more for me. I mean, whenever you make deviled eggs, I feel like... Okay, I could eat a whole tray if I really wanted to. What if you're Aurora? What? Have you seen me? No way I'm her. Mm -mm. Nuh uh. Make cookies instead? Ooh, I do want to try and make more things from scratch. I was kind of bummed. The last day we went grocery shopping, like, um. You know those Betty Crocker cookies that come in, like, the roll and they're sliced and they have, like, a little picture in the sugar cookie? We were trying to see if they had any, like, pumpkin ones in the discount section, but they didn't have any. So I was like, damn. But anytime I try and make cookies from scratch, they never come out good. I think it's because I can never, like, combine the butter well enough. Because whenever I do bake them, they look like they're melting. And there's giant pools of butter. Like, I want to try and cookies are so easy. Shut up, boo. Says the guy who doesn't like to cook. Like, I want to try and make a dessert every week, but I don't think I should be eating a dessert every week, you know? Because, like, I told myself, if I don't buy candy, or if I don't buy unhealthy snacks, then I won't eat it. So if I don't make cookies and cakes, then I won't eat cookies and cakes. <laughs> Are you killing the villagers because you're taking everything? No! Okay, the lore for any Animal Crossing villager is that they're on vacation. So I'm just here, clearing out land, so Tom Nook can build like an attraction here or something. Like, you know, get some tables, get some chairs. Maybe get a Ferris wheel or merry-go-round. I'm doing the work for him. But they have nothing but a campfire. The airport is right there. They can take an inexpensive flight to another island. And they'll be A-OK. -okay. What about the wildlife? Do you see the fish disappearing as I'm chopping trees down? You know, actually, more bugs spawn when there's stumps. Did you know that? So I, I think I'm doing nothing wrong. I don't know, Meg. I don't know. I want to say something, but it's really bad. It's really bad. Nothing will get you guys to make me say the intrusive joke I had in my head. It was really bad. It was really bad. No, I'm not saying it. It's really fucked up. It's really fucked up. <laughs> okay, because, like, my normal humor is really edgy, okay? I'm really edgy. But I tone it down for string, because I understand that edgier jokes aren't necessarily good to be popular popular popularized. So I, I choose to tone it down. <laughs> Oh look, I laid an egg. So I'm not gonna s I assume you guys can guess what I was gonna say, but I'm not gonna say it. Oh my god, I need to stop. I just need to not react. I just need to like... Go deadpan. I think that's what I need to work on. Stop, Max. Stop. 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 I am lost. 
That's good. <laughs> That's good that you're in pause. I was lurking too much. That's good. That's good. Audio listeners in shambles right now. I can't. I can't. You know, I think Mac is alluding to eugenics and I don't like the direction they're taking. Mods? Ban Matt. <laughs> oh my god, I can't. We need more funny chatters. Any funny chatters, mod check? You said it? No, you said it! Same. My Twitch did a casual trash and I don't understand. No, you <laughs> kept what we're saying. When you leave, the plane leaves? I mean, I assume the villagers have a cell phone. They can always call a plane, right? Surely they'll be fine. No service? <gasps> Rescue service, huh? Couldn't be me. No, look, guys, I literally have service. Or maybe, maybe they get on the plane when I do. Because you know how when you get on the plane, it fades to black? Maybe they hop on the plane as well. Still nothing? Yep. Yep, no luck. I don't like Mac. I don't like Mac. I don't like Mac. Mac is whack. You have to pay for rescue services? Well, I think if the villager can afford to go on vacation, I think they can afford a plane ride. Let's see what happens. Yeah, because see, it fades to blue. You can only assume that the strand individual villager hops on the plane as well. I think we're fine. Or maybe they're just using a different airliner. One of the two. Yeah, see, exactly. Mac, that's a really good headcanon. Surely they'll be fine. Dude, I've gone through so many axes. <laughs> okay, we're once again Going on another trip. I really want to paint today. I think the moment I end stream, I'm going to finish the painting that I worked on yesterday. I'm like itching to work on it. Because I could have finished it last night, but. Because, like, usually at 8 p.m. is when I start crashing when I get, like, really fatigued. I mean, especially today since I woke up way too early. I'm probably gonna crash at, like, 6 p.m. We'll see. But, like, you know how when you're working for so long and, like, your hands start, like, cramping or freezing up? And when I get to that point, I'm like, oh, I should stop. Hard or soft shell tacos? I like soft because with the hard shell tacos, you bite into it and it just crumbles. So, it's not easy to eat, so I don't like it. What time is it for you? I am PST, so it's currently 3 p.m. 
I don't think I have many viewers on Pacific Standard Time. Or maybe, like, not many active chatters, I mean. Hard shell isn't a real taco? What? Wait, what? Huh? Well, okay, when I think taco, I think hard shell. I mean, I guess, like, traditional tacos are, like, the corn tortilla, so. I guess that makes sense. EST only? <laughs> Go to Mexico and see if there are hard shell tacos at real taquerias. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Come down, dude! <laughs> You got roasted? I literally made the point before Angie said the retort, okay? I literally said the same thing that they said. Holy. <laughs> oh my god, that was good. That was good. I mean, but I said I prefer soft shell. So why are you coming at me, my guy? I did nothing wrong. Mod check villagers? What are, what are we eating if they aren't real? Um, oh, come on, dude. Okay, it shatters. I'm willing to use the rest of my tickets. So I have about like 17 tickets left. So it's 17 islands. Does anybody genuinely think we'll find her today? Does anybody genuinely think today will end well? Do you guys think I will cry? I'm feeling it, hopefully. I mean, crying on stream would go crazy. Wait, what is my title even? <laughs> crying live on stream if I don't find Aurora. I've been searching for a year. I'm at my breaking point. <laughs> Dude. Holy. My title goes crazy. Holy. I mean, there's been a few times where, like, my mom- Oh, shit. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm D-E-D. I'm D-E-D. I'm dead. That's, like... I think six to five now. I don't know. Anyway. There's been a few times where, like, my mom will make tacos with soft shell, like, corn tortilla. But then she'll pan fry them. So they're, like, really crispy and oily. I don't know what it's called. Okay, I, I think I'm gonna change up my music real quick. I just wanna listen to this album actually. Because, like, honestly, my YouTube recommended mix wasn't getting good. It was just playing, like, a lot of Korean soft pop. And it's like, I like it, but it's giving me way too much of it.
I'm kind of dreading for when I have to play Fortnite. I'm so scared because I know I'm going to be bad. It's not going to be fun to watch. So everybody has to promise. Everybody, peace and two shake. Everybody promise that when I play Fortnite in a few weeks, you guys will be kind to me. Because I don't think I've ever played an FPS. Is that even what Fortnite is? No, it's a third person. Because you can actually see the skins. Not gonna lie, I'm probably gonna get mad. Oh no. I would probably do worse than you. Hey, yo! <laughs> but dude, imagine I win. Wait. Okay, does Fortnite put you in ranked lobbies? So, like, would they just put me with, like, other plebs? Do you think you've ever seen a Fortnite stream before? I've seen some people play. But I don't- I know I'm gonna be bad. It's gonna be like Splatoon, I know I'm gonna be bad. I think what I'm gonna have to do for this stream is like... I might have to put it in like follower hour mode chat. Because I, I just don't want to deal with fuckers coming in and like backsitting. That's actually gonna piss me off. Because <laughs> like, you know I'm gonna title this stream first time ever playing Fortnite. I, that's the title. That's gonna be the title. Because you know I gotta farm. I gotta farm. Um... But I, I don't want to handle shitheads coming in. You've only played Fortnite a few times? I've watched my sister play and it's I right, but like, she would play with her friend, she would do duos, but then they would literally just taunt the whole time. Who's gonna get timed with this time? I don't know, Mac might. I hope Luigi learned the lesson. <laughs> That's okay, it happens. I, I can understand. Like, I know there's like, Sometimes I watch a stream and I get I get so close. I get so close to vaccine, but I'm like, nope. Nope. Do you want me in your lobby? No. No, I wanna win for the glory. I'm gonna do solos. I'm gonna win that crown, baby. And I feel like doing duos or multiplayer with somebody, like doing online, you have you kind of have to be in a BC in order to communicate properly. Fortnite has built-in voice chat. Oh no. Oh no, that's bad. I was thinking about that last night. I don't think I could ever play a game on stream that requires a public voice chat. Cause like, I'm so scared that somebody's gonna say a bad word. Because the issue with Twitch terms of service is like, if somebody says a slur on your stream, then you can get banned for it. In some cases. So like, it's very hard to monitor, especially when you're doing live content. That's why, like, I don't want to, like, do IRL streams, because, like, it's unpredictable what could happen, or, like, who's gonna come up to you and talk to you. That's why, like, I like the gaming streams, because it's controlled, you know, I'm at my desk, I can see everything that's going on. But when you bring in other people, and, like, you know how we did the Animal Crossing stream and, like, someone stole all my shit? Like, just stuff like that where you can't really control it. It just ruins the mood. Chatters are bad, but you can't come out exactly. You guys are banned. You all are on the naughty list. <laughs> wait, wait, it's, okay, okay, I have a new idea. You know how I said I write bad chatters' names on paper and then I burn it? How about instead... I crumple the paper and then I toss it in a trash can. Yeah, I agree. That's probably what I have to do, Angie. Like, just mute by default and see what they gotta say. Oh. Yeah, just my lobby. What if my lobby's bad, though? I I'm never gonna play with viewers if it's VC. Because no matter how you guys act in chat, no matter how good, I don't know. I don't know if you guys are actually bad. Like, 
like, it's not worth jeopardizing the channel that I've built for, like, a one-off stream, you know? <laughs> no Among Us. Yeah, no Among Us, Sag. Maybe one day. A VC with Meg would be wild and amazing. Huh? I don't know. I don't like collabs. Collabs are scary. Yeah, I only invite streamers who are bigger than me, obviously. <laughs> I need the leech. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god. Didn't imagine. It's like nobody's watching. Okay, chatters go again, but do you think this island will be the one? These days I'm fine. So I just... <laughs> Formerly asking you who thought I'd be the VC for Fortnite. I know he used to play Fortnite on stream all the time when he first started streaming. Like, I started watching after that era, but I've seen clips. <laughs> He's not the best. Did imagine. Okay, honestly, honestly. If I can get clouded enough to like meet him, that'd be insane. I mean that's that's another long term goal, you know, just meet Hassan. Okay, I would like to clarify I'm not a I'm not a simp, okay? I don't have an alt account that it's just for fan edits, okay? I'm not crazy. I think anybody who has a fan account is, you know, sipping too much of that parasocial sauce, okay? It's like the people who have, like, the K-pop stan accounts. It's like, honey, calm down. Get another interest. Get another lobby. Like, don't have your whole personality be people who will never care about you. No sign of a villager just yet. Mod check. I feel like I listen to this album every time we do an Animal Crossing hunting stream. I think it's because I like most of the songs on this album. This is Midnight by Set Up. It's like alternative pop punk, but they've become more poppy in the recent years. I think it's because I like a lot of the background instrumentals for a lot of the singles on this album. Because it's not often that I listen to music as- Dude! Okay, hold! Didn't we just have this guy? Am I seeing double? Am I having deja vu? We literally just had this guy on the previous island. We literally just had them. Guys, I fucking hate Animal Crossing. You're getting scammed like- Actually! We literally just had him! I'm really mad. You know what else makes me really mad? Having to run ads. But you know what? I have to do it. It's part of my contract. I have to run ads. So. Chatters. If you want to avoid that ad, all you gotta do is subscribe. $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad reviewing all month long. Or... You can link Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you have a Prime sub available. Use it on your favorite streamer, which is me, obviously. And after the ad, we'll keep we'll keep searching. <laughs> Surely we'll find her today. Okay, anyway. 
Get some water, get a snack. We'll see some of you guys in a few. Dude, I, I cannot believe it's the same fucking guy. Literally two islands in a row. This has never happened. I don't think I've ever gotten the same villager in the same day. It's crazy. Alone together. I'm really mad. I think the only thing that'll make me happy is actually nothing. <laughs> I'm really mad. Why? Why? Can I ask how well your ad revenue does for your channel? <laughs> Lamau. Um. <laughs> there's nothing. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna share with the exact number because that's TOS. But. I think for all of my ad revenue for this year, because I've been affiliate for nine-ish months, nine, ten months, right? Since January. For the whole year, I could maybe, maybe, let's fucking go. I can maybe buy a vintage drink from Starbucks with my ad revenue money for the year. Granted, the price of a drink varies. You don't know what drink I'm talking about. But yeah, I can buy maybe a Starbucks Vente drink. Like, maybe a Vente Frat. If I get some toppings in it. But yeah. Like, I wouldn't say that I don't want to run ads. Because I understand that ads is the way for the platform to generate revenue. And I understand- No, I don't want to talk to you, Rodney! Uh, I understand that ads is one incentive for people to subscribe. So I understand there's a balance to it. But... I can understand why people take the ad incentive offers. Like, I am- I fully agree with the argument that ads ruin the viewer experience. Especially when the ad density is 5 to 10 minutes an hour. Those are really high densities. But I can understand why some streamers will take the offers Twitch is giving them. You know. So. Granted, if somebody is at like the cusp of partner level, they're probably making a lot more than... A Starbucks Vente for a whole year's worth of ads. But, you know, I'm not gonna shit on somebody for taking a better deal. I don't think that's fair to shit on them for it. Peace out to Elden ads. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> but, it'd be different if, like, I had, like, a higher viewer count or if I streamed more. Then obviously you would make more ad revenue because you're streaming more, so more eyes are seeing your content. Um. <laughs> Wait, why does that show up as an emote on your stream text chat? Because, um, uh, I don't know if you watch Twitch on desktop. For any chatters who do, I would recommend downloading these third-party extensions. I personally use 70 v emotes, so you'll see a whole new world of emotes. I have them on screen so mobile viewers can see them, but if you're watching on desktop and you download that extension, you'll see a lot more emotes in chat. <coughs> oh. <laughs> the reason why I have ads as that emote is because I don't like when people talk about ads. Usually people complain and it annoys me. Because, like, ads is a necessary evil. No ads equals no stream. Oops, no, it's fine, it's fine. That's why it's an emote. <laughs> because, like, emotes make me happy. Anyway, to finish off the ad topic tangent, I can understand why people take the ad incentive offers. I think they're... I don't think they're... I think they're available to some affiliates, but primarily partners. Like, it makes sense. Because obviously, someone at partner level who's averaging 75 to 100 viewers, minimum, 
it makes sense because they have a larger platform. Because usually if somebody's averaging that number, they're getting probably like 6 to 10x unique viewers. Possibly. So it makes sense why they'd get a better deal. Granted the offers <laughs> you've, I've seen for those ad incentive programs for people who are at the cusp of a partner or right above the requirements for partner, they're getting like an incentive of like $100, which is obviously more than what they're earning, but it's kind of like, is $100 worth running double the ads? Depends on what the streamer wants to do for their content. Like I said, if somebody wants to get a bigger cut or a better deal, go for it. I don't think they should be shit on for that. Because like, if you're getting a guaranteed payout every month, that's amazing. Then you can actually kind of budget out your earnings every month. You can actually like plan out streams and like set aside money with your planned income every month to contribute towards your streamer for other things. But it's gonna be a long time before I'm eligible for any offer of that size, so. You know, I just gotta keep running ads, cause I gotta. And if anybody is like an avid Twitch watcher and you see ads all the time, I would recommend downloading Twitch Turbo. Or not downloading, paying for Twitch Turbo. It's similar to YouTube Premium where you get ad reviewing across all channels. You also get a special cool chat color. Uh, like, if you look at my user, it's like this pastel green. So I pay for Twitch Turbo, so I get a cool chat color. Or you can customize across the whole color wheel. It's pretty cool. But you literally get no pre-rolls, you get no mid-rolls. So, I know for me, I pay for Twitch Turbo. And then I'm subscribed to like a few channels that I want to support or just have the emotes for. So if you watch a lot of channels, I would say get Twitch Turbo. Easy. BRB? Okay. I think it's funny whenever you talk to people you're like right in their face <laughs> maybe it's just cause like his beak is big but it's really funny to me it's just like you know like the old people who be like how are you honey and they get right in your face Another island. Surely we'll find her. Does this feel monotonous at all? Doing the same thing all day today. Only to have the same result. Is it just me? I mean, it's still fun. But I'm like, are we really gonna find her today? How to sing. Awkward silence like we skip to beat. Words that burn. That's an incorrect quote, Angie, you're wrong. <laughs> How many tickets have you used? Oh, no. 
I think like about 20. Wait, how? No, I don't know. I, I just heard that the that's not the right quote or some shit. Or it's not okay. It's not the wrong quote. It's the wrong actual definition. Actually. Wait, do I have nerd enabled? <laughs> I do. <laughs> I saw this one in NMP's chat and I think it's so funny. <laughs> I love the emotes that are just like regular emojis. I think they're so funny. Like, another one that I love is I can't. <laughs> it's so good. I'm tempted to have more cookies. Should we take like a break in a bit? That way chatters can use the bathroom and get a snack themselves. Cause like I ate right before stream. And we're probably gonna end in maybe an hour to two. Hmm. Maybe at the next ad break I'll have a cookie. Why are you sagging? Today's a long bonus stream. We got a loaded week, guys. We're gonna do Mario Kart tomorrow. Eastward on Wednesday. Galaxy on Thursday. Art on Friday. And then maybe a tournament on Saturday. If not, then we'll do Monkey Ball. I, okay. Not to call chatters out, but whenever I say, like, my weekly schedule, anytime Hacker is there, Hacker is like, oh, don't get burnt out. And I'm just like, why are you saying that? You don't, you don't need to tell me that. I think, I think the only way I would get burnt out of streaming is if I played the same game every day. That's why I like variety, because, you know, I can do something different every day, and people watch, and that's cool. Like, imagine I became exclusively, like, a Mario Kart streamer. I mean, I think that'd be fine. But then, it, then I'd actually have to be good. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to get 10th place and laugh it off every time, you know? I'd have to actually try hard. Wait! Uh... Oh, they're kind of cute, though. They look sporty, and I don't like the sporty type. But it's a penguin. Is that our first penguin of the day? Oh, they got heads that sound like me. Sad. We had no doubters, Lamau. Y'all actually starting to believe? I wonder what he's listening to. Um, he's probably listening to, like, the Happy Feet soundtrack on repeat, because that's all he knows. Yeah, anyway, I was saying, like, if I played the same game every day, I think y'all would get bored, too. Because, like, okay, I was going to ask chat today, what is your favorite game that I play on stream? Because I know usually we have a lot of people, or I have a lot more unique viewers when we do Mario Kart. And it's also, like, the first stream of the week. So, like, Tuesday. And then Eastward is the lowest. And then Galaxy. I don't know yet. We've only done two Galaxy streams, so I don't know yet. But usually, I feel like a lot of people enjoy or watch the Animal Crossing. But then it's also, like, whenever we play Animal Crossing, I clickbait the shit out of the title. I mostly come for you. Heh. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my god, I can't. Nah, I get it. I'm kind of like that too. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. 
I'm tired. I've been up since five. Oh, where? I've been up since five. I'm crazy. Anyway. Like, I'm very much like, if I like this streamer, then I'll watch anything they do. Like, literally, okay. I know I said I'm an auto simp, but I would literally watch Hassan play Valorant shittily. So, if I like the streamer, then I'll watch literally anything they play. Like, I was watching Hassan playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare, and I fucking hate games like that, and I was still watching him play. Um, but... I think my favorite stream game has to be Mario Kart. I think- because I think that's the first game I played on stream. And then... I feel like I'm decent enough in Mario Kart to where I feel like the gameplay to watch is kind of fun to watch. And then like my commentary adds a bit to it. Also what I'm really proud about whenever I play Mario Kart is that I'm able to read chat as I play for the most part. Like, I can still, like, since I have a single monitor set up with my laptop, I don't necessarily have to look or turn my head to read chat. So I kind of just have to glance down and quickly skim and read chat. That way I can, like, quickly... You can see me doing it now. I don't know if you can see. Like, okay, let me go full cam. Like, I just go game. And then I just quickly read what chat has said, right? And I've gotten really good at that during Mario Kart. Because, like, I understand some people like when streamers are, like, charharding and, like, focusing and not necessarily talking or commentating. But I'm trying my best to be as engaging and talking as much as I can. Because when you're streaming and your commentary style is basically, like, a stream of consciousness when you're streaming. Like, you just gotta think of random shit and keep talking. Because a lot of people who watch Twitch, I assume, I'm part of this viewer base as well. Like, I just listen. You know, I like hearing people talk. Like, a lot of the streamers that I watch, I like their voice. Or, I don't necessarily like their voice right away, but the more I watch them, I grow accustomed to listening to them talk. So, anytime there's, like, more than a minute of dead air, I click off. I click off. I'll admit it, I click off. Like, I feel bad, like... Anytime somebody, like, leaves a chair... Or goes to, like, use the restroom... Or, um... Or, like, plays a raid video, I leave. I feel bad. But it's because, like, for me... I treat auditory things as a distraction. So if I don't have something playing... It's kind of like... It lets, it lets your mind water, wander. Um... So, like, if nothing is playing, if there's no sound, I leave. But that's because if it's for a stream that I expect audio from, then I leave. I, I feel bad, but it's like... It's kind of like, because I treat streams like a podcast. Like, how often do you listen to a podcast that has, like, one to two minutes of just nothing playing or no one talking? Because I watched a lot of YouTube and podcast content before I started watching streams, so I'm just used to that constant feed of audio. So that's kind of what I expect as a viewer. And I understand, like, not all streams can be like that. Like, talking the whole time is <laughs> crazy. And it's something that I can't even do myself. Because that, that's a lot to ask from, for somebody. That's a lot to ask from somebody. Because you're expecting them to be on, quote-unquote, for hours and hours on end. You like looking at the room? My room is boring as fuck. It's wall, lights, wallpaper. It's boring. It would get more trinkets, but I, just, I don't like having things. I don't like clutter. Even though my room is really messy right now, I don't like clutter. I definitely want to make like a permanent background. For the new stream setup. I'm either going to do like a b really big mural. Or do like 30 sculpture thing I told you guys about before. 
Yeah, I know like the the setups where it's like you see the their room and they have like trinkets on their shelf. I think that's cute, but everybody does that. Everybody has that setup. Literally everybody has that setup. I personally really like Cutie Cinderella's because she just has her chair and then her wall and she usually has like a colored or not colored but she has like a pattern wallpaper on it and it's cute. I mean it's it's simple it's not like super engaging to look at but I like it. it's classic. I think like I just don't like trinkets. I don't like having things. I don't collect anything for that reason because like I think collecting things is too expensive. It's not worth it. Because when you're a collector, you're always going to want to complete that collection, and once you have most everything, or when you have everything, then that, like, spark is gone. Your wall is full of art? Oh, that's actually kind of cool. Are you going to have one of my paintings? Uh, what I'm, the only concern I have about selling art is since I only want to do originals, I'm really scared about it getting lost or damaged in the mail. That's a genuine fear I have. It's like, imagine you spend hours on something only for it to break. That's why, like, I want to get into, like, sculpting or ceramics again, but I'd be too scared. Okay, it's that time once again. It's Gambit time, guys. Do you think we'll find Aurora on this island? Surely I will. How big is the canvas? Um, the ones I've been working on is a 12 by 16. Because, like, I have, uh, I bought another, like, 10 pack of 12 by 6. Or it's 12 by 8 canvases, so they're smaller. But I like working big. Because, like, I've seen so many paintings that are, like, huge, right? And they just seem so, like, in your face. Like, so impactful. I love looking at- I love working big. If I have the ability to work super big, I would. Or, like, the canvases that are as tall as you. I think those are so cool. Because I think in order to work that big, you have to be confident in your work. We had no gamblers anyway, so it doesn't matter. Guys, I'm gonna cry. I don't think I could cry in command. Like, I know I can deadpan. You know, just gotta think about sad shit, but I don't think I can cry. Because in order for me to, like, cry, I have to, like, already be upset. <laughs> so... I don't think y'all should try and get me upset, either. I think the only time that, like, I'll actually cry is when I get, like, super agitated or upset. Because it's kind of like... It's not that I don't know how to express myself, it's just sometimes it's hard to. When you don't know, like, how to convey what you're thinking or feeling, it's very overwhelming. So I usually cry.
I can get myself to cry if I think of specific things. Maybe you'd be an actor. That could actually come in handy, you know? You know, utilize your traumas. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No, I know for, like, actors, they have, like, this special... Uh, like, I know for actors, they have, like, some type of, like, balm or cream they put under their eyes. And it kind of, like, chemically forces you to start tearing up. Wait, you took acting? Did they tell you to think about sad shit? What? Huh? That's kind of wild. Sorry, that that's kind of crazy. So your teacher was like, "Hey, basically, just trauma dump on your partner, and then just fight each other. Easy." <laughs> Thank God, bruh. I will sing a song. Hey, uh, yeah, well, you're probably saving up for that one, huh, Angie? Hmm. Okay, now I must find a song. I can sing. Let's mute the game and find a song to sing. Oh, there was one that I sang like a line of earlier that I wanted to come back to. I, I think I want to do Off the Table again. It's an oldie but a goodie. I don't want to feel the money that you're spending. Okay, so chat. You guys can redeem to make me sing a song. Bro, that's crazy. Fire this acting teacher. That's crazy shit. Like, dude, imagine somebody shares something that's, like, triggering for you as well. Dude, I can't, I can't. Anyway, we're gonna sing a song. So, if you're new here, people can use their channel points and it'll make me sing a song. You can check out previous clips of me singing in this YouTube playlist. If everybody could, we're gonna enable... Wait, no, let's do PSA2 hard. Let's do PSA2. I've enabled the overlay, so spam as much as you'd like. I love seeing you must spam a chat. It makes me really happy and it hypes me up. So I'm gonna sing Off the Table by... The Weeknd and Ariana Grande. I'm going to sing The Weeknd's verses, actually. Got to skip to his part. Oh, yeah, it's coming up. It's coming up. Get ready to spam. Get ready to spam. <clears throat> oh, wait for you. Even though it always feels like I'll be number two to someone you can't hold anymore. If you let me in, I'm ready to give you what I couldn't be for. Cause I got you, girl. Let me help you through it. You're trying to fill the void with a couple boys. I can see right through it. I can love you more than I did before. Was in a dark place back then. I was toxic, and then I was toxic to someone else. I was haunted by the hills. Oh yeah, I couldn't give you my all, but I will. If you let me in your homes, if you let me in your heart, I don't think that love's completely off the table. There we go. Dude, I'm a bit rusty, but that was pretty aight. <laughs> Gay pride. <laughs> okay, um, it's not funny, but I think this. You guys never spam that. What the fuck? <laughs> that is not you guys' default spam. Okay, it's starting off. You guys are done. <laughs> but thank you guys. What you think? You sound like Shakira when you sing? Mm, that's kind of cool. Should I be an impressionist? I because, mean, like, the way that I sing... I feel like 
I copy how people sound. Like, I don't feel like I have my own voice. Cause I ain't her and you and him, thankfully. And that sounded nice. I feel like I'd be a good background singer. You're very much in your throat. I know. I know. I remember I was in a VC with Rangi, Rangi ages ago. And she's like, you'll hear your real singing voice if you plug your nose and sing. And I didn't do it. I couldn't do it. Because, like, I can't do it. I, I, I can't. I can't. I, I just can't. I don't like sounding bad, okay? If I sing from my throat, it fucks me up. I don't care. I'm not a singer. It doesn't matter. Yeah, should I learn a Shakira song? Would that go crazy? Kids, gaming time! Alright, now I gotta... What should I listen to now? I'll listen to a Post Malone album. How do you like the way I did you? Let's do Hollywood's Bleeding. I think I listened to this last time, dude. I just listened to the same shit. <laughs> Call me basic. <laughs> okay, I get so scared <laughs> that I'm like actually playing my computer audio on stream. I like I look over. I know it's not recording it, but I get scared. <laughs> but thank you once again to Angie for redeeming. I appreciate you. Sorry, that's funny, Angie. <laughs> it's like, no, I'm just blagging my nose. <laughs> Little mo. <laughs> I mean, that's like actually how you practice like singing from your chest and not your throat. I just don't want to do it because I hate sounding bad. I don't like doing things if I'm not good at it. That's why like I don't do realism drawings because I'm not good at it. I don't do too complex songs or songs that have too much range because I don't- I'm not good at it. I think it's because, like, in order to see change in growth, it takes a long time. And it's not that I don't have the patience, I- it's very discouraging when you don't perform well over and over again. Or you don't see consistent growth quickly. I can't sing well, damn. Me neither, man. <laughs> I plug my nose and I see no difference. Well, problem number one, you should hear a difference when you plug your nose. Not see a difference. <laughs> Little Mao. <laughs> Silly Mac. I'm dead. <laughs> Wish I should just go on. Ah, I know how to do the first verse for the song. I can kind of do the chorus. Or I guess the branch knows the chorus. Oh my god. You guys want to hear a funny story? Oh my god. Okay, I've never shared this story before. But, um... Uh, so... Uh... <laughs> Dude, is it from this album? Wait, oh. I have a funny story about one of the songs from this album. Where is it? Okay, okay, funny story. So, when this album came out, this is when me and a previous partner broke up. And, like, we still hung out after we broke up. Which is, I think, fine as long as- Because, like, there was no malintent. There was, like, nothing bad. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh-oh. The camera's still here. Hold. Okay, as I'm telling the story, I will tell the story. Or, as I'm telling the story, I'll fix the cam. Anyway, so we were hanging out. And I was like, hey, there's a new Post Malone song. And it's goodbyes. <laughs> okay, don't say F if the stream didn't crash. Don't say F. Anyway, so they were like, hey, let's play the song. And 
he pulled up the song Goodbyes and he was playing it on his phone and we just sat there listening to it and he was like, Ashley, let's not listen to this right now. <laughs> it was so funny. Cause, oh, cause like, oh, I was like, yeah, he has a new song. And he was like, um, you wanna, he's like, I'm gonna play it. I was like, no, I don't think we should listen to it. He's like, no, I wanna listen to it. I'm like, okay. <laughs> okay, obviously I didn't laugh in the moment, but it was so awkward. Like, looking back, it was so fucking funny. Like, what? Like, what are the odds? <laughs> it was so bad. <laughs> yeah. I, I can't sing it. Like, it's, cause like he, uh, what's the tone? It's like, I'm not good at goodbyes. It gets like mid tone. Like, I, whenever I sing, I'm like, <laughs> I'm not good at, wait, no, fuck. I can't do it now. <laughs> when I sing that verse, I usually go higher pitched. Anyway, that's the story time. Yeah, this, I don't like the rap verse. I don't like it. Controversial, but I don't like songs that have like rap verses or when they have a feature. It's because I don't. Okay, it's not that I don't like rap. I like rap a lot more than I did like a few years ago, but to me, it, it ruins the mood. It ruins it, cause I'm like, I'm like, usually they'll have like rap features in like poppy songs, and it's like it's supposed to be like up and bumping, but then when you bring in like a mumble rapper, it's like, bang, I don't like it. That sounded good when you sang out of your throat. See, throat singing is good. <laughs> Should I take vocal lessons? Tab one? <laughs> I mean, I feel like every... Like, lifespan of an influencer is... Make videos, become YouTube famous. Make music videos make millions off of the restreams of the video. So I, I think that's the, my next path that I gotta do. Oh, it wasn't from my throat. Dude, I did it no fucking way. Wait, wait, how do I do it? How do I do it? <laughs> See, I don't even know how to do it. I, I've never taken formal vocal training. I was gonna take choir in like high school, but you were only allowed like one or two electives. So it was either choir or drawing. And I did drawing. They let me down. Okay, I don't mind the rap in this song. I think it's fine in this one. Because like the rap is still kind of like upbeat. So this feature was good. The songs have good raps, just that one is bad. I agree. It's kind of bad. And it's wild because like I think they released the single before the album came out. And I was like, the rap isn't good. I would love to release like a cover album. Cause like, wait, I never had, I had a poem phase in my life, but I never had a songwriting phase. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I need to see if I have the notepad. Cause I wrote out like a verse for like a chorus of a song, but that's all I wrote. And this was like months ago. Let me see if I have it. Yeah, songs are basic, songs are basically poems. They're, they're literally just poems. Wait, let's see if I have it. I think I might have deleted it. <clears throat> I have it. Wait. 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 I need to pause Malone for a second. Wait, I have it. Dude, it's so bad. It's so bad. Okay. You guys want me to sing it or no? Nobody better steal my IP. That's cringe. Should I do it? It's literally just two lines. It's barely one line. I'll do it at the end of stream. <laughs> I'm not ready. I'm not ready. So if you want to hear me sing an original song, uh, keep watching. Lamau. 
Oh, I gotta turn the game back on. Hold. There we go. Dude, I thought I deleted that notepad, but I still have it. Oh no. I think the reason I was like dabbling in songwriting is because Rainy writes her own original songs. Rainy Day Games, follow her on Twitch. She's pretty fog you. Um, but I was kind of inspired, so I, I wrote just one and two. I wrote two lines of a song that I'm never gonna finish. I mean. I don't know if I'd ever, like, seriously consider music, because it's not, like, a passion. Because, you know, when you hear some influencer music and you tell, you can tell, like, it's not what they want to do. Like, it's not as, you can say, like, not meaningful, but it doesn't, like, hit you as hard, you know? Oh, I just remember, does anybody remember Chester C on YouTube? He was kind of in, like, the circle of, like, Ryan Higa. He's in the Nice Guys video. I, I think Chester C. Still, make con still makes videos. But a lot of his original songs are really beautiful. Huh? Nope. <laughs> and like I said, he doesn't upload often. Because there's been times where he would take, like, a year hiatus. But he's been on YouTube for a long time. I think he's in one of the YouTube Rewind videos, actually. But there's a really pretty song. I can't play it because it's probably still copyrighted, but it's... Okay, Chatters, if you have a chance, look up this song. Look up Chester C. That's what I'll be. That's my favorite original of his. It's really pretty. But he plays piano and it's really pretty. I remember one of my first ideas for stream was for me to play Animal Crossing and to sing the whole stream. Now that's a nice idea, but you can't necessarily perform covers live. Like you, there's still like weird TOS concerning like can you perform like remixes? Usually if you have a big enough platform they're not gonna ban you. Cause like, I think in order to release like a cover album, you have to like buy the rights to perform the remake of a song. But if you're performing live, like if there's like a small cover band performing at a bar, they can do that. Because they're not recording it. But the issue when you're streaming, you're technically recording it and broadcasting it. So there's a lot of like weird lines you gotta skirt when you perform covers. That's why. We only sing once a stream and not the whole stream. Cause like, one of my, um... I was- I sang Tattoo by Jordan Sparks and I re-uploaded the clip to YouTube. It got copyrighted. Like, I had no background music. I literally just sang the song and I still got copyrighted. Maybe it's because I sang it so good? But it was still weird. Cause I uploaded two clips of me singing it. Two separate times where I sang it and they both got claimed. I mean, I think my, like, my voice is kind of similar to Sparks, so that's why. Because I feel like when I sing, um, I sound deeper. I don't know. That's rare because you definitely do cover songs. Yeah, but it's like, it, it's weird. There's like, you have to be very careful with like how you accredit when you, do, whenever you perform a cover or like re-upload it. There's like a whole bunch of like legal shit that I just don't want to touch. Unless I have like a legal team that can help me navigate it. Oh! I didn't mean to pick that up. <laughs> okay, chatters, can I be honest? Can I be honest? 
I'm kind of tired. I'm, I'm actually really tired. I mean, it's 4 p.m. Hmm. How many tickets do I have left? I have 15. How about... We do like two or three more islands. Maybe we'll find her in three islands. Wait, I need more tools. Sorry, take a break. E. You know, it'd be cool if like streamers could take like a 30 minute break. What would that even look like though? Cause like, you know, some people stream for like eight to 10 hours a day. That's like crazy. Like, how are they not like exhausted? Okay, I definitely need more tools. But I think that's why like the react meta of like watching TV shows or just watching YouTube videos on stream is like so prevalent because it's like one, how do you fill so many like hours of stream content? And then also like, how can you be on for that long? Because, like, reacting is easy. Like, you watch the video, you enjoy the video, and then you add commentary if you want to. So it's like, I understand why some streamers react for, like, two to three hours a day. Like, I get it. But then it's like, how do streamers take a break? Because it's not, like, a normal job. Like I said earlier, if my streamer leaves for like a minute or two, I click off. Like I'm one of those viewers. I'm bad. <laughs> I'm a bad viewer. <laughs> I'm actually really bad. Oh, I actually hate this song. Okay, it's not that I hate it, but it's just like, it's so overplayed. Ooh, I like this one. You know what I just thought? Uh, wait, what even good? You know how crumble cookies are basically just underbaked cookie dough? What if you made like cake pops out of the cookies? But it's like a cookie pop. Because like most of the cookies aren't dry, they're like super moist. You could probably make like cake pops out of them. Oh, okay, I see, Angie. Maybe, I don't know. Because, like, my normal stream length for, like, a normal stream, we do Game of the Day for two hours, Animal Crossing for one, and then just chatting and then calligraphy for, like, 20 to 30, depending on how many people redeem or how long you guys stall. <laughs> so, normal stream is, like, four hours. That way, I don't hit the, you know, workers violation skipping your 30-minute break four and a half hour stream. <laughs> but... I think the longest stream I did was, oh my god, the first ever painting stream on the art channel. Talking about the art channel, um, chatters, chatters, everybody should hashtag follow for free my second channel. It's peace and underscore art. I'll be live on that channel on Friday finishing the gauge painting. So go follow. Click the banner in chat. Hashtag free to follow. <laughs> that stream went crazy. Dude, that stream is so bad. I had my settings a little fucked. It's fine though, it's fine. But I think, because it took like eight hours to paint and then like an hour like setting up and like chatting during. So the stream was like a little over nine hours. And if you look at the VOD, it's it's split in two, but it's still a nine hour stream, okay? So like even then, that was kind of pushing it. But for art streams, they're usually more chill. So I don't necessarily have to focus on commentary talking. I usually just focus on the craft and the actual art. But it was still, like, tiring to be on camera for that long. Like, I I could never see myself playing a game for seven to nine hours of stream. That's crazy. I mean, today we're going for probably, like, five to six total. But that's fine, because Animal Crossing is more chill. Like, I don't necessarily have to be, like, super hype. 
You know, it just feels like we're chatting and talking, and that's pretty chill. Also, I would like to say, I will never push myself for a stream. Like, if I'm genuinely tired or genuinely not feeling it, then I'll end early, so don't need to worry about that. Because, like, I don't think it's good to push yourself too much. Okay, try to go, Gamma. Do you think we'll find her on this island? Like I said, we probably got time for one or two more attempts. Surely we'll find her today. I wish there would be different weather when you'd go on these islands. Because you know when you go on the island um, with the frog guy? And sometimes it's a different time of day or a different season. Like, I think it was last week we got to go to, like, a winter island and that was pretty cool. Because I think my favorite times in game is when the cherry blossoms are up and then when it's snowing. Those are my favorites. Chatters go gamble, you got five seconds! I know you guys love gambling. Damn, no gamblers? Sag. I forgot to predict. Damn. SMH. You should know the drill by now. I mean, I think the my favorite part of Twitch chat is doing the predictions. You know, I've never gambled IRL. I've never bought a lottery ticket. Never done none of that. But I love gambling in Twitch chat. Like, it's so fun. Whenever you do win, you're like, oh, I'm up this much. Or if you lose, you know that it costs nothing, just your time. You know you can easily get it back as long as you watch the stream. I think the only prediction that genuinely hurt one time was... I think it was Hassan playing Mario Party with a... I think like some OTV people. And of course, he would lose every minigame. Of course he would. So like, I got more and more brazen, so I would gamble like a thousand. And then 5,000. And it got to a point where I gambled 50,000. And that was like the one mini game he won. So I lost 50,000 points. And I was like, damn, I'm never gambling this much ever again. And But then, <laughs> a while later, he was playing Among Us. And I gambled 100,000. Because he kept on winning, right? And then the one time he lost, I gambled 100k. And I was like, no, I'm never doing this again. So, like, the most I'll gamble in any prediction is, like, 10k. I think that's the reasonable. Ah. Damn, no wifey just yet. Big sad. What's the most you guys have lost in a prediction? I know whenever Scootish does cards, I used to be a diehard doubter, but I'm a believer now. I think the most I lost was 3k. Well, that's not that bad. It doesn't take long to gain 3k. Because, like, usually a chatter earns about 200 per hour. And then if you're a subscriber, then you get a slight multiplier. So if somebody is watching most every stream, and they stream at least 40 hours a month, you usually get about 10 to 15,000. That's why one of my channel for redemptions for I gift you a sub is 15,000. Because theoretically, if you watch majority of my streams, then you'll earn enough points. You usually just predict 10? 
Dude, you gotta gamble more than that. Come on. Come on, dude. Ten is like tossing a penny in. That's nothing. You know, you gotta have some stakes. You know, you gamble big, you win big, right? You've only lost like 10k here. Do you remember what prediction it was for, Colby? Or Colbobble? You only gamble big for Mario Party? Damn. I mean, do you guys remember the time where I won three out of four games? That was actually crazy. I mean, the reason why I asked Kobobo is because, like, all those big losses, they personally stick with me. Like, I still remember that time in Hassan's streams where I lost lots of points. <laughs> it's kind of like how negative experiences stay with you more than positive. Like, you just can't get over it. Yeah, because I, I think the way that predictions work is, let's say there's three people who predict yes, and then one person predicts no. If yes is the winning result, and okay, of the three people, one person predicts 10% of the prize pool, the other predicts 40, and then the last person predicts 50, then I think you get the correlating percentage of the wings so whoever gambled 10% of the believer pot they would get 10% of the doubter pot and so on that's why like sometimes you'll get very few points from a prediction and sometimes you get a lot it depends on how many people predict on the losing side as well I mean, I think these Aurora hunting streams are like the best stream to gamble because like it's apparent that I'll never find her. Like we even got a back-to-back -back repeat villager today and only one penguin. So the chances of us actually having her spawn are very few. So I can understand why nobody likes to believe but, you know, there's just, like, a tiny, tiny chance that we'll see here finally. And, guys, it's gonna be crazy. I'm gonna be, like, screaming and shit. <laughs> nah, I don't think I will. I don't think so. I, I, don't, I don't go too extra for stream. Because I think that aspect of, like, being performative is a bit much. It's not my style. Oh my god. It usually gets too close. I get scared. You know what else is scary? Watching ads on Twitch. Because chatters, we are another hour to stream. We're five hours in. Holy, that's a whole shift. So, if you want to avoid those ads, all you gotta do is subscribe for $4.99. Just $5. Skip your coffee. Get ad reviewing all month long. Or, you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch. You can hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe. See if you have a Prime sub available. After the ad, I think, I'm honestly getting really tired. My arms are really heavy, and that's a bad sign. So, we'll do one more island. One more. So, if you don't want to miss a single second, subscribe, easy clap. Get some water, get a snack, we'll see some of you guys in a few. I'm going to get a snack myself. Now we can eat the cookie. Hold on. Also, if you're not following the channel, follow. Easy. I I, forget, I should plug a follow every hour too, huh? We need more followers, guys. Okay, I know we tried the three cookies, but the only one I'm gonna eat is the strawberry. I'm literally gonna lick the frosting off the pumpkin one later. 
the strawberry one is the only good cookie from this week. Honestly, kind of a mid lineup. If I could get the strawberry cookie every week, that'd be epic. You know what would go crazy though? It'd be cool. Because you know how people can order online? It'd be cool if they could order any flavor they want online anytime. I think it's kind of sour. Because you know how, like, not cream cheese. What is it? Is it cream cheese that tastes kind of sour? I don't know, but it's kind of sour and I like it. Sour cream, maybe. Apparently, you can put sour cream in cake. Like, if you're making cake from scratch and it makes it more... No, what does it do? Makes it more moist. I saw it. I saw Kitty Cinderella talk about it one time and then I forgot what it does. But it does something. What does it do, though? Because I've never tried it. I haven't baked from scratch in a long time. Because, like, our oven is kind of busted. So, like... I don't know what you call it. Even if it says it's 425, it'll be a, like... 350. It's it's busted. It does make it more moist. Okay, that's what I said. So I was right. You know what the icing tastes like? This is the strawberry cake cookie from Crumble. It tastes okay. You know what the shop how they have like tubs of sour cream you're supposed to spread on bagels. It tastes just like the sour cream that's flavored like strawberries. That's literally what it tastes like. It's so good. gonna sanitize so I'm not sticky. Okay. Thank you for letting me take a break. Gonna write off this sugar high now. <laughs> Damn surely one more island and we'll find her right. Oh damn, we just missed 420. Sad. We just missed peak meme opportunity. Okay. We have time for one more island. I have a feeling this is gonna be it. This is gonna be the one, guys. And I am not having copium.
Okay. It is our last chance and therefore our last prediction of the day. Shadows, go Gamba, go Gamba, go Gamba. I want everybody to go all in. Okay? All in. Do you think we will find her? On our last attempt of the day. If you don't want to go in or all in, come on. Come on. Do it for the meme. Do it for the meme. Or if you don't think we'll find her, go all in on doubt. Come on. Come on, everybody. This will be the attempt. Wait, we forgot to do the peace I to pray meta. Peace I to pray. I'll find her. I forgot to do the pray meta. That's like the spam for these streams. Peace I to pray will find her. Everybody, if everybody prays, we'll find her. I'm stalling. I'm tired. Oh. Well, guys, you know what time it is. It's crying time. Now I gotta figure out how to cry in command. <laughs> Damn. How many hours have I spent searching? How many days? How many streams have we done? How many hours offline have I searched? To no avail. No sight of my dear love, Aurora. You know, I feign confidence. I like to believe that I will find her, but I don't know anymore. Maybe she doesn't want to find me. Maybe she doesn't want me to find her. I'll never know. Unless she comes and talks to me. Maybe I should embrace my incel era. And just never talk to any girls again. It's not worth the trouble. It's not worth the drama. Or the heartbreak. Should I just give up? Should I try and find another wife? What should I do? You know what needs to happen? We need somebody who has Aurora to give her to me. You know, she belongs with me. She's the one for you, though. I know, but... I don't believe in reincarnation. If she's not gonna find me in this life, she's never gonna find me. <laughs> the cards are super cheap. I don't want to resort to trafficking, though. The international pet trade is a very serious problem that I cannot take lightly. I understand that these are digital animals, but it still feels just as bad. Oh wait, it's the... <laughs> I'm no good at goodbyes. 
Oh, not this song. Why of all times? No. Don't tell me to shut up. When you know you talk too much. But you don't got shit to say. Oh my god, I can't. Did bad memories. I'm no good at goodbyes. <clears throat> you know he's saying save, not say, you dummy. Turns out that it wasn't what you wanted. Oh, I like this song so much, though. <laughs> it's so bad timing, though. Okay, I don't like the chorus as much. It sounds- it's weird how he says it. I want you back here tonight. The rap is so bad. It's so bad. You know, it's not emo hours just yet. It's only 4.30 p.m. <laughs> I wish the rap didn't exist. I know, me too, man, me too. It's so bad. <laughs> I want you out of my head. See, like, I usually do, like, the higher pitch like that, but I'm not feeling that right now. I'm feeling sad. Well, the only thing I can do now is try and milk this island as much as I can, get all the resources before we have to put our head down and continue with life as normal with her not in it. Damn, I really felt like today was the day. I know I say that every time. But I really thought today was it. Yeah, why people said and my axe broke just like my heart. Oh look, I got lots of axes, unlike the hearts that I have. I only got one. Oh, you know how I was, I was having issues with OBS on Friday and how chat wasn't working? I literally just had to uninstall and reinstall OBS. Because, like, I was hesitant to, but apparently you don't lose any of your information. Because it saves the application separate than the data that was in the application. So I didn't lose any scenes or anything, so that was great. And you know how I was complaining about, like, not wanting to join the Discord? Well, apparently... There's like a portal on the OBS website to where you can upload um, your crash or your log files and it'll automatically scan for bugs. And I was like, wow! And the bug told me, or the scanner just told me to reinstall. And I was like, okay, cool. So that was pretty epic. Because, like, it's no big deal if I have to remake all my scenes, but it's just a hassle, you know? Okay, well, guys. I think it's time to throw in the towel once again. This attempt for November to no avail... Maybe a five times a night, I'll do some more hunting. But maybe. 
Maybe if we are lucky once again, if we are blessed with another day of an empty plot, maybe we can continue this tomorrow after Mario Kart. But chatters, it is the end of our hunting journey, but the stream is not over yet because we did get a resub and we had somebody redeem calligraphy. So we get to do calligraphy today. Wowie. So if you're new to stream, anybody who donates or uses their channel points gets their name written at the end of stream. So I'm going to go ahead and get that camera set up for you guys and get some music as well. Time to turn off my music. Sad. Okay. Also, while I'm getting everything set up one more time. If everybody could go follow my art channel, it's peace in underscore art. We are very close to affiliate. We're literally 10 followers away from getting new emotes on that channel. So if you want to see me paint stuff like this, we're actually going to finish this one on Friday. Or something like this. This one looks sick on cam. Look at that hollow. Um, Go follow that second channel. It's hashtag free to follow. I'd appreciate it. Okay. Yeah, I gotta change my title. <clears throat> See if the cam is up. Because my USBs were glitching earlier. Yep, it's frozen. Hold. Saved. Okay, gonna change my title. Dude, Eastward has to have the best music. Okay, thank you for redeeming Kobo Boy. I appreciate that. Let's do channel point names first. Oh no, actually, I think we had Emmy. We'll do Kaliga or sub journal name first. Redeeming Mac, I appreciate that. Oh, this pen is busted. Still looks good, though. Also, gentle reminder to any Oilers, possibly any secret Oilers too, any chatter or lurker who gives a total of five subs by the end of the month gets a custom portrait sketch card drawn on stream. So if you want something like... 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 This... Or this... Drawn on stream, gift five subs, easy clap. There's also a promotion to where if you gift two subs to any Twitch channel until I think Friday, you get three months free of Xbox Game Pass for new users. Wowee. Maybe I'll get an Xbox now. We had Emmy Beef with a nine month resub. One of my longest consecutive subs. Let's fucking go. I think Emmy has a founder's badge as well. Sag Issa. Issa was like the 11th subscriber I ever got. Sag Issa. 
This music slaps? Yeah, it's Eastward. I, I keep on saying it, but Eastward has the best music, hands down. No debates. Okay, and then we had channel point names. You guys get to go to the poor journal. <laughs> Dude, that meta was so funny. We had a good handful of people in theme. Let's do... Okay, so I need pink, orange, and any. Okay, let's do Angie first, since they're new, so they get the special treatment. Oh, that looks so nice. I love drawing G's. Okay, so we had Angie Nima. Angie Nima. Thank you for redeeming. Then we had Kobobo. Kobobo's name is so fun to say. Then we had Nut Mac. Okay, that's all the names we have for now. So, last call. If you want me to write your name, all you gotta do is use your channel points or donate to the channel. Did you find Aurora? No. I didn't. I still need to cry. I said I was gonna cry. One day we'll find her. Surely. I'm sorry, Angie, but it's right here. Dude, I hate when that shit happens. 
Okay, Janice, can I self-report? You know how I had to... Yeah, VOD will be up, of course. Um, VODs... The only VODs that don't get published are if it's a sub-only stream. Hey, can I self-report? So you know how I had to unlock the door for my mom? Dude, they were so fucking mad. Because <laughs> it's like... Okay, she texted me. Because I heard a banging at the door. And if somebody's fucking banging on your door, you don't fucking answer it, right? So I'm like, what the fuck? Uh, and then I got a text from my mom. I was like, oh, it's my mom. Lamau. And dude, she was so mad. <laughs> but it's like, dude, I the moment I saw her fucking text, I got up and opened the door for her. But she was so mad. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you write so pretty. Thank you. I'm in art school. And so, like, that's why uh, you, you guys could probably tell that my mood was not good after. <laughs> I was like, what, bro? Okay, chatters, this is the last name, so last call. Last call. There we go, we got mashed potato redeem rainbow. Mod I I'm gonna add mod check tonight, so wait. Just wait and you'll see. <laughs> okay, chatters. Let's say. Dude, Hassan? Oh yeah, Hassan's still alive. It's only 5 p.m. Of course he's alive. Imagine you raid Hassan. <laughs> Okay, Chatters, I think we can raid Scootish today. Nobody else is alive, sad. Okay. We're gonna raid, so if you're new to Twitch, um, how raids work is I in stream, you go hang out in his chat for a bit. Right now he's playing Sonic Forces. People Pog, wow. So if you want to get a sneak peek of the game, go watch his stream. So our raid message is gonna be peace, I to spin. Peace, raid. Peace, I2 spin. There we go. So if everybody could copy and paste this message, peace, I2 spin, peace, raid, and type it in this chat room when we go over there, that'd be great. Once again, just a reminder, I only read out to people I know. So please be nice. Don't be annoying. Be nice in this chat room, please. What happened to the legular? Huh? I don't know. <laughs> what? Okay, anyway. Shout out to the schedule for this weekend is going to be tomorrow, Mario Kart. Wednesday, Eastward. Thursday. What you call it? Thursday. What the fuck? What game? Galaxy, Super Mario Galaxy. <laughs> and then Friday, we're doing art. And then weekend stream, maybe a tournament, maybe Monkey Ball. But that's the plan for this week. Once again, Gentle Mario, if you watch the stream and you like the stream, make sure your notifications turn on. Turn them on. That way you get notified when I go live and you can hang in the chat. I had a great time with everybody. Thank you for hanging out on this bonus stream. I had a really good time. Thank you, Angie, for hanging out. You were literally here the whole stream. So thank you. I hope you had a good time today. We hope to see you in the future. But oh, once again, thank you, Emmy, for the reset. And thank you to me twice for gifting you guys two subs. Fuck you guys. Okay. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.